those airplane emojis in the chat. You see those airplane emojis in the chat. Matter of fact, let me see some fire emojis in the chat. Fire emojis in the chat. Fire emojis. Sorry for the echo there. Yes, let me see those fire emojis if you are ready to turn and burn in the F-15 Strike Eagle. Yeah. Nice landing there. Exit left. Welcome back. Tyler rocking it. What's up, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Brand new member. Welcome to the stream, Jay Morris. Welcome aboard. Let's get to it, man. I want to fly. I want to fly. What's up, guys? Welcome aboard. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Bring that down just a little bit. What is going on? beautiful people welcome back it's your boy blue and we're back on dcs world checking out the f-15 strike eagle uh it's been out for what a few weeks now but i haven't actually streamed it yet i just realized it the other day i was like you know what i haven't streamed the strike eagle i've been flying it on my own i just hadn't streamed it so we're gonna do that today we're gonna do some flying do some um air to air stuff we'll be doing some combat air patrol that is our mission we're here on the hoggett persian gulf at war server so if you have the time on this beautiful friday you can come through and join me bring that audio down just a little bit still getting some, a level check as we talk but yes we're on the persian gulf at war hoggett server so like i said if you have time on this beautiful Friday, beautiful day, clear skies right now as well. Come through and uh, be our wingman in whatever aircraft you choose. If not, then as always, there's a window seat just for you. But welcome aboard, good to see you. Hope you guys are having a great week and are excited for the weekend. Um, I was really debating on what I was gonna fly today and I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna hop in the F-15 Strike Eagle and do that. It's gonna be dope. Bring out that, bring out the Warthog whole task and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Looking forward. So you guys know how much I love DCS. I'm a big flight sim aviation fan. So yes, sir. Uh, what's the name on it? Uh, let me see. It is Hoggett. So just search H O G G I T, and then it's a uh, P G A W. Persian Gulf at War is the server. That uh, I am currently on. MD10, welcome to the stream. Let's do some shout outs before we get airborne. Before we hop in our jet. MD10's in the house, welcome aboard. David Bukachi is in the house, welcome aboard. Digital Merc, bro, what is up, man? Good morning to you. I hope you're doing good, man. I hope you're doing good. It was great to meet you and see you. I, I, won't, I won't forget you, man. I, will not, I, I literally saw you every day at Flight Sim Expo. And, um, bro, you're cool people. So, great to meet, great to know you. Uh, Ted Station is in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you as well. Tyler Rocks, thank you again, my friend, for coming through and supporting the channel. Jay Morris, welcome aboard. Good to see <clears throat> sorry, good to see you as well. Greg Feaster, hello, hello. Good morning to you. Mikey D is in the house. I might need some help for Mikey. You, you know, Mikey knows that even though the F-15 is a really cool jet, um, I'm not an expert. So don't be all excited thinking I'm gonna teach you guys some stuff because I'm I'm trying to learn from the chat you feel me Eris Mod Al oh, Eris Maldivan welcome to the stream good to see you as well man hope, hope you're doing well tattooed bacon is in the house what's up man reworks racing is in the house what's up my friend good to see you welcome aboard man salute to you my friends thank you so 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 much thank you Victor for the subscription welcome to the blue team what's up man <laughs> blue four blue side Yes, sir. Reworks Racing, what's up? Jared A is in the house. Uh, oh, snap. Guys, hold on. Pause the music. We have a special guest in the house today. We have a special guest that I was not expecting. And that is... We have a real-world eagle mechanic 
in the house. Like, what kind of freaking dope job is that? That's cool, man. Jared A. Welcome aboard, man. Yeah, I'm definitely down to learn whatever I can from you, man. Uh, teach me all the stuff about the ego. I want to know. Naomi, Colt, welcome to stream as well. Good to see you. All right. Let's get the jet fired up. We still got to do iris alignment. Uh, we'll allow people to trickle in as they do. And uh, I have one more sneak peek for you guys as well. And that is, uh, I'll just show you. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Mad Dogs F-15 Strike Eagle. Yes, you guys don't even know what that is. <laughs> Evil laugh. You guys don't even know what that is. You have no idea. Uh-oh. Um, where are my key commands here? Make sure my track IR is working and operating correctly. You guys don't even know what that is. If there's any Mad Dogs watching right now in the chat, let me get a ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't. I can't wait to officially announce what that even means. Uh, but give me a second, let me get this fixed here. Come on, track IR, work with me, homie. There we go. All right, let's get a close up. Let's get a close up. I got the, oh, yes, sir. Ted's in the house. Mikey's in the house. The wolf pack is here. The mad dogs. Check it out. Check it out. Mad Dogs Joint Task Force. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, baby. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to give you guys a teaser. So, basically, a bit of a rundown. The Mad Dogs is our new DCS Virtual Flight Squadron that we're currently in the process of making. So, we're not accepting any new... Um, like members it's just a few people right now right working out the foundational stuff we're working out um you know all that all the the building process building it from the ground up so when it's ready we'll make a big deal about it and we'll open up the doors and open up recruiting but you might see me and a few other people streaming or doing videos or posting screenshots of us flying with the mad dog doing some training because right now it's all about getting good you feel me all right so man uh, thank you so much again, Tyler Rocks, for that support, man. I appreciate it, man. Jay knows the way. Thank you, man. Tattoo Bacon, RPBC. Let's get it. All right, let's fly. Let's fly. Okay, so situation report. What's the briefing? What we're doing today? We are, again, as I said, we're on a Hoggit server. Let's go to briefing real quick. We are on the Hoggit server, Persian Gulf at War. We are in the F-15E Strike Eagle. Uh, our personal goal is to do um, some air patrolling. Uh, we've been doing air to air, air to air loadout. No air to ground for me. Um, I'm not an air to ground guy in the F-15. If you put me in the F-18 or the F-16 or the Apache, then I can do air to ground. But in the F-15, I am strictly air to air, at least until we get some JDAMs. Um, there's tankers on board if we ever need to hit those. Hopefully not because I am unsuccessful in the F-15 with tankering. Other than that, man, we're taking off here at Al Dafra Air Force Base in the south here, just south of Dubai. And I believe a lot of the enemies are going to be kind of here towards the north. So we're just going to fly up north and see if we can spot anything. We're going to, I guess, say like where this A-10 is right now. Or sorry, AV, the Harrier. Um, we're going to go for, I think this is Waypoint 2. Let's see. Is there a Waypoint for us? Let's check. We can kind of uh, get an idea of where exactly we want to kind of do our our patrol. All right, here we are. I don't have any waypoints, do I? Nope, there are no waypoints. And I don't know how to make them. That's fine. We'll expect to kind of go up here to the peninsula area around Farm Charlie. And we're kind of going to patrol around north of here, left to right. That's the plan. That is the plan. Let's bring that down. Da, 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 All right, let's go ahead and kill it. We'll go ahead and enjoy the sounds of the F-15E. By the way, guys, we are actually live on TikTok as well. Like, what? So what's up, TikTok people? I can't see the TikTok chat. So if you're in TikTok, you're watching on there, thank you for coming out. Uh, sadly, there's no game audio. Um, once I get to a certain threshold of, like, followers and whatnot on TikTok, I can actually start streaming directly from my PC. So I'm kind of trying to work towards that now. 
um, because I think it'd be kind of be kind of cool to stream to TikTok, um, the gameplay that we always do. Normally we, we stream on YouTube. Also, something else that's brand new and random as heck is we're streaming as well on Kick. Matter of fact, I don't even know if we're actually live. <laughs> I haven't actually checked because uh, I use Restream, so you know, like Restream just like sends it to wherever. Like we're freaking live on on TikTok, uh, Twitter, like <laughs> like freaking everywhere. Uh, oh, we are live on, on Kick. Okay, cool. So we are live on Kick randomly. Probably the only aviation stream on there. Mostly it's GTA and stuff. So whatever, man. I just I just spread the word. That's it. Jay knows the way. What's up, man? Um, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up because it's going to take a bit of time. All right, to our right-hand side, we'll get the left gins and our right gins on. And I hear, yep, there's another F-15 on our right as well as an F-16. Off there on the right as well. And starter. There goes that F-15. Captain Geo, bro. What's up, Geo, man? I've been enjoying uh, your live streams recently, man. I know you've been, uh, you've been back streaming again. I'm not sure if you're still home or if you're back on the road yet, but um, I did enjoy the streams that you were doing. I think it was, uh, was it this week or last week? I don't remember, man. But... It's good to see you back, man. It is definitely good to see you back. All right, let's go ahead and pull this handle here for the jet starter. You can hear, that's basically, I think, like the APU starting up for the most part. And then the left side. I think the green light looks like it's on. Dan Decline is in the house. Welcome to the stream, man. Random video editor, welcome back as well, man. What's up, Micah? Matt Warren, good morning from Arizona. We're taking off from uh, Al Dafra today over in the Persian Gulf. Got a little bit of a sortie we're doing today. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We'll hit the finger flip switch. You can hear things happening. Oh yeah, things are happening. Well, that sounds good. What is that? Rotate. I love that. That's one thing I love about DCS multiplayer is you just spawn into like a server and you just hear afterburners everywhere. It's just so cool. It's so immersion. All right, and we'll go into idle. Here we go. And starting two, we should see our engine RPM go up. Yep, it's starting to climb. Beautiful. So I was going to do the 4YA server today, but I just could not take the hot, the hot starts. Okay. Beautiful. All right, she's almost idle. We'll wait for that and hit the left engine. Hopefully we don't die have to do this all again. <laughs> Gonna be 121 out here tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Is that in Arizona? It's been pretty hot here in Texas too. We're getting heat advisories every day. Alright, we can start engine number one now. Alright, finger finger lift on one. We should start seeing rotation and hear some sound. Right, waiting for 20-ish and go ahead and go out of into idle there we go Okay, chat, I want you to answer a question for me. What is your favorite aircraft startup process? Like, like, of all aircraft, fighter jets, regular airliners, like, which one is your favorite, like, to see or hear startup? I'll give you my answer once I see yours. Um, yeah, uh, I used to work on the ramp. I stopped working there last year. I, I no longer work on the ramp at the airport. I loved it though when I did it. Thank you, Alexi, Alexis, 
four six for the follow. Welcome aboard, my good friend. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Hope you are doing swell. David Bukachi says the F eighteen. Gavin Chapman says the seven three seven Mac. That's a good one. Test Station says that Howl is incredible. Yes, it is. Aero Aeromis Dolvin says A330. Thank you, James, for being a member, my friend. Uh, I do like the A330 startup. Uh, Rewert says 757. Jay says 737. I do like the 737. David Bukachi. Oh, I like this one. The Caravan. Okay. Uh, Dan DeClown says a Concord. I'm going to give you guys mine. I have two. I'm going to cheat, right? My favorite is the A320 Neo. That's my favorite. Oh, it sounds so good. Especially when you're on the, like, when you hear it in person. It's so good. Oh, DC6 says Mikey D. Um, E8 says RMS Media. That's pretty cool. Um, yes, yeah, so the A320 Neo. But on the military side, it's the F14. Oh, the F14. The way the freaking, yeah, it's just so cool. Okay, anyways, I'm getting distracted. Into the run. Let's get these screens turned on. We got, like, a flight to do and stuff. Like, this is not just a just chatting stream. Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, hit that. Those screens are on. Uh, I feel like I'm in the F-16. I'm, like, looking for the buttons in the wrong places. Let's do a bit of a flow here. So, oh, this looks okay. Let's turn our oxygen on here. We'll open that back up. All right, right side is fine. Both engines are on, idle, and good. Uh, let's go ahead and get the INS started. Before we do that, we're going to hit all these buttons. I'm not using my, my little cheat sheet that I usually use. So i got to remember it off the top of the dome. Uh, let's get our mic turned on. Get our radar set to standby. There we go. And the JTs. And we'll go into GC Align mode. That's going to take a few moments here. On Let's go ahead and get these. Oh, yeah, it's this one. No, is it this one? Oh, here it is. No, this one. No, this one. Yeah, that's the one. I tell you, man, I've been I've been flying the F-16, so like I'm, I've, I I don't forget that quick, that quick. I've been I don't forget how to start this thing. All right, so we got GC no tax. We gotta wait for that to go to uh, to uh, count down for our INS to be aligned. <laughs> That's what I was doing, tattoo, just smashing all the buttons until I found it. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. Don't forget the oxygen. Yes, sir. I thought I just did that. Oh, this one, the green one. I turned on the AC, but I didn't turn the oxygen on. So I was getting just hot air, probably. All right, while we're waiting for that to finish, about 15.5, we'll go outside again. Another sneak peek of the Mad Dog livery. So there's the, um, the dog. They're on the right. And I plan to also... Um, change the pilot uniform too eventually we'll see um, but yeah I've been working on liveries this week I made four different liveries for the F-15 I'm only gonna show you one today again this is a sneak peek um, oh cool the Dulles F-16 made four F-15 liveries I have one F-16 livery I've made for the squad and I'm currently working on an F-18 actually I have one and a half I have two I have two F-16 liveries uh, one that I haven't even showed the team yet but I'm not done with it. I'm still working on it. And then uh, I have one that I am doing for the F-18. And those are the main three planes for the squad starting off with, based on the people that we have. Um, those are the planes that they chose. And after that, I'll move on to the Apache and some of the, the less commonly used aircraft. Got another aircraft taking off over there. It looks like a uh, F-18. I like that, Ted. You should start your own squad squadron called Angry Bacon Squadron, the ABS. <laughs> Bulldog game, yes sir. <laughs> you should pass F-15. Oh, so you're uh, F-4, you're the one in F-16 over there on our left? 
Where, where'd you go? Uh, thank you, man. Thank you, Gerald. Yeah, man, we're using the uh, Thrustmaster A10 Warthog Hotas uh, with the TPR pedals. I just got these right here. Can you see them? I'm not sure if you can see them on camera. I don't think you can. There they are. Yeah, so I just got these after Flight, at Flight Sim Expo, and I freaking love them. Like, oh, uh, like, don't get me wrong. I still love my Turtle Beach rudder pedals. Don't get me wrong, right? They, they felt great for the price and all that. But when I got these, shoot. Uh, they don't compare. Uh-oh, I got GC Hold. Oh, it's because I freaking touched the rudder pedals. Dang it. I don't think that's going to change. I don't think that's going to change. Adali, we are on the Hoggets Persian Go at War server. That sucks. All right, well, we're just going to ignore it, and uh, we're going to go with it, because I think we're fine. Right, well, what's the worst that can happen when your INS doesn't align, right? What's the worst that can happen? I don't even have any waypoints, so why does it matter? Okay, so engines are on. Let's finish up here. So I'm just going to go through here, so that looks good, that looks good. Uh, cryptocurrency is on normal, that's good. Uh, hopefully we'll be making some crypto in our flights. Uh, mode B, sure, whatever. Position lights, anti-collision lights on, formation lights on. We'll turn that to on, leave that on on, radar. Sorry, yeah, radar to on. GC aligned to nav. JTIDs to normal. Uh, we'll turn that thing on. We'll turn this up. And I think that's it, right? I think I did everything. Did I miss anything, chat? Yeah, INS is overrated. <laughs> Anti skids are on. I think I'm good. I don't have my little checklist to. Remind me if I've done everything except for close our canopy. Let's go ahead and close the canopy. We are ready to taxi. It will realign. Okay, good to know. Alright, turn our mirrors on. That's one of my favorite little small features that I do like about the F-15E is the little mirror function. I mean, it, it, it could definitely be useful. I, I can see it be very useful. All right, we'll go to TEWS page. We'll get our air, air radar on the left here in the middle. Actually, no, I'm going to grab the do, 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 TSD on our right, and we'll get the TEWS here in the center. And we'll get our radios turned on. Go back to the menu. That radio radio is on. We're on 1249. That's weird. That's fine. Uh, we'll do with it. I'm not. I'm not that picky. We're not planning on talking to anybody, anyways. All right, brake hold off. Taxi lights on. And it looks like the guys are taking off from left to right, so we'll do the same. Uh, why do we have a red button? Oh, because I didn't lock the canopy. That is why. Uh, and let's go ahead and call up ground crew and tell them we need the chocks removed. Put chocks removed, please. Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me. Backseat. Almost forgot. You almost forgot. Do I use a backseater in the F 15 like you do in the F 14? Uh, similar concept, yes. Very similar. Uh, backseat usually handles all the weapon the weapon type stuff. Uh, we don't need laser today. We do need the R RWR. And we do need the ICS set to auto. I'll turn his mic on too, because why not? And then on the right side, we'll get the ICS that's on, RWR on, that on, and get our mode set to manual only. And I think that is everything for this guy back here. I would love to personally learn the back seat. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. I'm just gonna put some random screens here. We're not gonna be back here, but we'll leave that for him. All right, I am ready to go. Quick flight control check. Oh, you arm the seats front and back. We might need that. Here we go. All right, let's go.
Can I manage the semi-auto? Uh-oh, why are we not moving? The chalk still on? No? Why are we not rolling? Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, my brake code is on, but that's freaking accurate. I didn't think it was that strong. All right, roll it out. Looks like we got a couple other F-15s on the ramp now. Not a good sound. Sam, way out here. Lee, what's up, man? It has been a long time. Good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. Your left turn here. I have, like, these pedals have so much more range that you see me, like, freaking turning so much, like, pushing it so hard, my, my feet. Why are we getting SAM alerts on the ground? Uh, actually, the wind is blowing the other way. We should be taking off the opposite direction. So, I'm going to turn around here. 104 money. What's up, man? Good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well out there. I know you're working hard. We'll see how long we can survive on this F-15. Hopefully we do all right. I mean, I, 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 you know, I know a little bit about air to air. Just a little bit. I think I know enough to hold my own, hopefully. Uh, I am on a less familiar server, though, so I'm not really sure where the targets are going to be. So we're going to have to keep our heads up. Yeah, we're getting buzzed, man. We're getting buzzed. If I need a quick reference to my TEWS page, uh, Castle Right brings it up. Oh, it does. Appreciate well, it. How do I go back though? <laughs> okay, we don't need that other one, anyways. We'll use this one. This will be good to look at, see what's going on, see the site picture. <laughs> Stainless says, darn, you weren't going to buy any more ships for Star Citizen. And you weren't going to buy more planes for F-15, but it looks sick. It does look sick, man. Look, look, look at that. Look at the outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. I got to set, set it up. Hold on. We got to set it up. Can we do a free camera in this server? Are we allowed? F-11? Oh, here we are. Where my plane at? Where is me plane? Here it is. Get us a nice sexy drive by before we get shot up in the sky. Before things get loud. Alright, what am I gonna do? I think it's a uh, control F3. Oh, it does work. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Oh, look at that. Make sure you guys wave when we when you pass by. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, we're good. <laughs> F-15 is majestic, man. It's it's a good looking bird, man. It it is. It really is a freaking good looking bird. But I don't know. I'll tell you this much, man. The, the jets on DCS they don't miss, man. Like I mean, the F-15 is so good. The F-16 is so good. The F-18 is so good. The Mirage, you know, all these planes. Even the Migs can really be. Um, be really nice as well so it's front menu here why are we getting an AI warning like where is this cat yep we are ready to light the candle and blow some stuff up Fetatuda, we are not dropping any uh, what should we do what? wait 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 a second 
Wait a second there. Why are you the first to, to point that out? That's quite important. All right, guys, we got to pull over. We got to pull over. Uh, how, how did we miss that? Uh, it's going to get down here to the end of the runway, and we'll do it over here. <laughs> oh, guys, we forgot to load missiles. We was going out there Winchester. We are about to go out there naked with our butt out. Oh my gosh. You know how upset I would have been if I would have took off and got in the air, start searching for targets and realize I ain't got no freaking Fox 3s. All right, let's, uh, let's fix that. Let's fix that. That is hilarious. All right, I've been, I've been playing too much uh, civil aviation lately where you just start the plane up and f put your flight plan in and fly. And I forgot, I need weapons. Uh, we'll take just a couple, nine Limas, just in case things get spicy. Um, but we're going to take mainly AIM-120 Charlies. That's going to be the Fox 3, I believe. And then the uh, Sidewinders, we'll take two Sidewinders. So we'll bring all this good stuff here. And why not just give me some extra fuel? Why not? Since, since we're waiting anyways. Since we are waiting anyways. How embarrassing. Freaking ground crew forgot to give us what we need. How dare you. Oh look, we got people behind us coming up. F-16 back there. Going old school. Yes sir. Going old school with the nine Limas. What's the newest AIM-9? Is it the mic? Is it the M? Yes, I never forget to load the passwords on the 737, so never forget to load the ordinance on an, a fighter jet. X? X is the newest one? Okay. Well, too late now. Why is my, my, uh, my wing moving in the back? Do you see that? That little twitchy... Little twitchy thing just moved there. Is he gonna give me? Can they, can they give me stuff? Okay, is it refueling me? Okay, cool. Uh, M is the newest the Strike Eagle can run. Yeah, usually in the F-18 I use the AIM-9X, um, but I noticed we didn't have that in the Strike Eagle, so I went with the L, because I, I don't, for whatever reason I thought the M was like a training missile. Giggly Giggly welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. I thought it was a training missile, so I, I didn't, but good to know. We'll, we'll, next time we'll bring the, the, the mics. AIM-9 mics. Uh, that was fast. All right, we're done. All right, let's go. Let's continue with our regularly scheduled program. All right, let's go. Now we have protection. Yeah, it must be some kind of flight control computer glitch. You, I did see that happen multiple times back there. I'm not sure why that would be, why it would, would bounce around like that. There goes a uh, another F-15. So what's the difference? Like, is it just a better um, guided rocket? The, um, I shouldn't say rocket, missile? The uh, X versus the M? I mean, because in my opinion, like, I don't know, a sidewinder is a sidewinder. Okay, guys, it's time to take off. Plane lights on. Let's make sure there's nobody taking off or landing. That is actually very important. Uh, when playing DCS multiplayer, because as you saw, somebody just took off in the opposite direction, and somebody's taking off right now. Right, anybody else taking off? I got an F-18 approaching. Let's go ahead and take off before he gets on. And sometimes, if you're not hearing communication, um, and I'm not even sure if I'm on the right channel to talk to anybody, to be fair. Um, but if you're not hearing communication on radio, on DCS specifically, uh, it's kind of the, a courteous thing to just take the right side of the runway. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the right side of the runway. Just in case he does decide to get on, because he's probably not paying attention like I am. And he is definitely on the runway now. Yeah, I can see him. So this is going to be sketch. 
All right, guys, lined up runway one three. Flight control check, free and correct. We are good, guys. Let's hear a. Uh, what do you say for fighter jets takeoff? I mean, it's gonna be a a burner. Um, brakes, please. I don't know. Just say stuff in the chat. Let's go. Oh, baby. Brakes, release. We rolling. Oh, we forgot the trim. We did forget the trim. Oh, well. We'll be all right. All right, was 150? Rotate. All right, gear up. Clean up. All right, we up, baby. Bye-bye. Oh, she looks so good in the climb out. All right, we went ahead northbound. We're currently heading not north, so let's turn. Yeah, RWR is freaking out, man. It thinks it was like Sam's bugging me out here. Is it our? Is our? Is it friendly? Is it our own Sam pinging us? All right, let's come back on the power here at 464 knots. In the right turn. Single ship flying solo today. I'm gonna basically head directly north, uh, get some nice altitude, and get a good sight, get a good picture on what's going on. We actually did forget a couple more things. We forgot our standby ADI. Yeah, we forgot a few pretty important things. So, if if we lose uh, our engines, we're gonna be screwed. Is this the right direction? Go that way. I think what it is, money, is that that name, Beastie Boy, is like a little before some of our times. <laughs> it's, it's before, that's why, I think that's why it's not clicking, like it clicks for you, money. Uh, so one of the things, and again, I'm not going to talk too much about the new squad that we're, we're building, but we are building a new squad, and um, it's going to be called the Mad Dogs. That's the majority of what I can say, but one of the, one of the things that we're making um, is not making, but one of the things that we're doing and applying is that uh, when you join a squad, you don't choose your own call sign, kind of like in real life. Uh, when you go to military or whatever, you don't get your own, you don't make your own call sign. They they're given to you based on experiences and whatnot. And um, and so we're in the process right now of like choosing each other's call signs. And um, and so money had a, an idea for for Mikey, and I just think that maybe maybe that call sign is a bit before our time. All right, we're doing three five zero knots at Angels fourteen. There's our airport down there. Green smoke signifies that it is a friendly airfield. And as you guys may recognize, we are here in the uh, Persian Gulf area. We should actually overfly uh, Dubai International. That might be it right there, actually. Oh, thank you. Uh, somebody asked on TikTok, do I like the Thrustmaster pedals? They're looking at them or Verpal and as well, what's the best flight stick to get into DCS? Um, yeah, I, I, I just got these pedals. What was that? Uh, a couple weeks ago after the Flight Sim Expo and I love them. Um, I haven't really tried the Verpal ones too much to be honest with you. So I don't want to, I don't want to mislead you into thinking that I've tried both of their pedals. Um, but I know that I'm very happy and satisfied with these. I'm not sure how much Verpal is charging for the pedals either. So honestly, to do what you can. Like if, if you do what you can afford, you know what I'm saying? That's my, I always recommend. If you can't afford some $500 pedals, then don't go buying some $500 pedals. Like get what you can actually, um, you know, afford. I right, switch to air to air mode here. And make sure there are... There we go. Our AMRAMs are selected. We're going to start scanning the sky because I don't know how close the enemy is. We'll get our mass arm on. We're basically going to fence in. Fence in means, I, I learned this in the past few months, fence in means um, master arm on and lights off. You do not want the enemy to see you coming or hear you coming like a whisper. <laughs> uh, all right, we're still climbing out, passing Angels 18.7. But yeah, again, 
Uh, when it comes to flight sim or DCS hardware, find out what you can afford. Like, don't break the bank too bad, uh, especially if you're just getting started. You just want to get something. When you're just getting started, like, anything is an upgrade. Um, but if you have a cheap joystick already, then, you know, paying, paying an extra hundred bucks, extra hundred, couple hundred bucks will uh, do a lot for you. All right, we'll start scanning here and see what we have. We have quite a few contacts in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Right, who are these guys? Oh, Fenton also includes calling your fuel state if you're in an actual flight. Good to know. Thank you for learning us on that. All right, so guys, if you don't know, the triangles are bad people. Um, the circles are good people. And this triangle is at 20,000 feet. So, is this a baddie? I really don't want to shoot any good people. Um, I got... We have on our radar here. I don't... Uh... The heck does that mean? <laughs> the heck is that? I ain't never heard that warning before. I think we're getting shot at. Oh, triangles are not bad? Okay, never mind. Triangles are not bad. This is why you guys are teaching me. Triangles are not bad. We like triangles. We're friends. We're friends with triangles. Triangles are our friend. They have three three corners. Unlike you squares. I was kidding. All right, I think that's a S SB. That's a Sam. Oh, it says AI. Okay, well we probably should start evading because it's shooting at us. Oh, it's right freaking underneath us. Oh, we're dead! When I finally realized what it was, we were dead. We were flying right over a freaking SAM site. Yep, that was fast. That didn't take long, right? Alright, let's go appreciate the damage model while we're watching us die here. <laughs> Falling at Mach 1. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the oh, wait, we're in the, we went in the drink. We went in the drink. You can't re eject. I died. I died on, on impact. It was it. Alright, so let's, let's try again. Uh, that's death number one. Was, did not see that coming. Um, yeah, that's on me though. That's completely on me. Let's do a quick start here. Alright, let's go. Boom, boom. Generator is on. Boom, boom. Oxygen, sure. Turn you on, turn you on, turn you on. Bop, 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 and bop. All right, and then bop. All right, fired up. And now, before we forget, let's get weapons. So I'm going to go grab my livery, which is the standard low vis. 116 is the board number. And we'll get some AIM 120 Charlies. Uh, fuel tanks on there. We'll get the AIM 19Ms because we're all sophisticated now. Get some more 120s on the on the right wing with some fuel tankage and some sidewinder action. 120 plus 120 plus 120 equals what? Splash. All right, let's go. Pods. Boom and boom like that. All right, cool. We're all loading up now. Meeting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shane flies. What's up, man? How are you doing? Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, does somebody call me Meteor? <laughs> a, a, a real a call sign has to have two syllables. That's too many, so I have to reject that one. <laughs> my call sign should be Tumble or Splash after that sortie. Oh boy. I don't like Tumble. I don't like that one. I kind of like Meteor, but it's too many syllables. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Comet. Oh, I actually kind of like that. 
I kind of like that one. Comet, that's a good call. That's a great call sign. Oh, we gonna have to, we gonna have to, we gonna have to slide that one by, by the guys, because they're already got a call sign in mind for me. So I don't know if they're gonna upvote the, <laughs> they're gonna upvote the comment. But I like comment. I also like the other call sign. I'm not, I'm not gonna say what the other call sign is, but I like, I like comment. Kareem, welcome to the street. Good to see. You. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well. Um, I feel bad. I feel like I didn't answer this question uh, about the pedals. Would I recommend them? Yes. Um, but can I say that they're better than the Verpal? I cannot because I haven't tried the Verpal. Um, but I think that either way, you're not going to regret how you spend your money there. Thank you, No Gear. Fill out the sky with that one. Yes, sir. F4, are you in game? Are you flying too or are you just watching along? Uh, can you play this game with just a Logitech 3D Extreme Pro? Yes, you can. You can, pl you can play this game with any joystick. Why is my camera so dark? Uh, yeah, you can play this. It is very dark. <laughs> you can play with any, um, any joystick. It'll work. Oh, we almost forgot we're starting an engine. All right. Here we go. All right, engine two firing up. This whole live stream is literally going to be just me starting up the F-15. That's what this is going to be. Like, probably five times, and then it's going to be over. Hopefully not. Did not see that coming. Why? How did I not? Yeah. Mm. That's a shame. Here, helicopter. Here's it. Oh, there's Apache right there. Oh, I love Apaches. Flip on the inlet ramps before I start the engines? Oh, I didn't know it happens before. I've always done it after I'm like done. But sure. They're on now. All right, we're good. Start engine one. Yes, Jay, I think we all learned something today, haven't we? We've learned something. If uh, it starts yelling at you, then dive, dive, dive. All right, get these screens turned on. Aha, now, now I remember the button. I think one of these is for the radio, right? Get that one, that was the radio. That's audio. All right, and left engine idle. All right, let's finish it up. We should be done. Yeah, we're done with all that. All right, let's go through here. So right side looks good. We're all starting up, looking good. Oxygen is on. And we'll get this set to auto on our left side. Once again, we will get get some lights on for uh, let everybody know we are starting up. We get the mic turned on. Get TF radar on. That's on. Stand by. And now we're gonna do GC align. And don't touch anything. I'm super. Oh, it, are, it already says GC hold. That fast. Can I reset it? Can we try it again? We'll try it again. Hello, Apache. Uh, how did I get the zoom on this slider? I'll show you, because we got to wait anyways. So if you go to Adjust Controls, and then I go to Access Commands, and over on the throttle, which is this line, I have Zoom View set to this slider here on my throttle. And that's what I use to zoom in and zoom out. It's I, it's so helpful um, because there's really no other button that I would want to use to do that because I can I can do variations of zoom. So that's what I use there. Hit OK. So I can go like just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and a lot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got to turn brake hold on before lying. Man, you guys make me look like a rookie, which I am in this plane. 
Current, late, lately, I have been really, since uh, Flight Sim Expo in our last DCS stream, which was from Flight, Flight Sim Expo, I have been pretty hardcore training in the F-16. And um, I flew the F-15 a few times, and I, I like it. I enjoy it. I, I like doing air-to-air. -air. Um, the air-to-ground, not a fan. But um, today is like the first day I've flown the F-15 in like a week. That's why I'm a bit rusty. Right, let's try aligning again. And see what happens. EP required. Oh, heck no. Yeah, we're just not going to line. We're fine. We'll be okay. I'm sure I'm sure nothing will break. I'm sure you won't get shot at. All right, what's next? On, on, on. I ain't got time for your INS nonsense shenanigans. Uh, otherwise, you might get shot down and then your engines will fail because the switch broke. What? <laughs> what up, US Rail Productions? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Welcome back, my friend. It's so confusing. I hear this guy on my left starting up and I keep thinking it's me. But we're done. We started up. We're straight. Um, let's go ahead and shut the canopy mics on. The, what takes the longest in the startup is just the alignment. And since we're not even doing that, then we can go. Like, I mean, we ain't got nothing to wait for it no more. I right, closed and locked. Oxygen is on. That's on. That's on. Let's go check the back seat. RWR on ICS auto mic. Sure. Cryptocurrency normal. Got it. Uh, ICS. I'll leave those on auto, auto, auto. On, on. And we'll do semi-auto. I think somebody in chat said we should use semi-auto. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we might need it. And we'll arm that. And back to the front. Actually, get this up. for you guys, for the chat who's in the back seat, we will turn on the screens for yes. Because why not? Why not? Uh, matter of fact, if you wanted to, you could hop in the back seat with me. But just don't press any buttons. I don't want you to kill me. All right, cool. That's that's whatever. All right, I think we're ready to go. And everything else is good. Yeah, yeah, we're straight. Tax lights on. Flaps. You know, I took off last time with no flaps. It felt good. It felt real good. Like I don't think we need to take off the of flaps. Why are we taking off the of flaps? Like, it feels so much more unstable with flaps on. Um, flaps on. We're going to try it. We'll do flaps take off this time and see what that feels like. But I, I remember in the past flying in this aircraft with the flaps. I'm like, why are we using flaps? Like, this thing is freaking fast. All right, let's go. Oh, we need chocks. Chocks are still on. Ground crew, remove chocks, please. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Copy. Uh, try stored heading on the INS, it's faster. I will try that next time. We're gonna try not doing it at all this time and see if it causes us. Like, I wanna I want myth bust it. You know, everybody says you should, you know, align your INS and stuff, but I wanna, I wanna show you that you don't need to. It's not that important. Maybe it is, I don't know. What to find out. All right, I'm gonna take off the same runway. Uh, winds are pushing that way, so we're gonna taxi from that way. Thank you so much, Warp Pig, for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. I hope you're doing good. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Welcome to the blue side. The bluer side of the pillow. Yeah, that makes sense, Ted. I guess if you're running 12 Mark 82s, then flaps might be needed. But if you don't have any of that, if you're just doing air to air, then you should be fine with no flaps, right? That's what I would assume. That's what I would think. Uh, if you don't align, you can't use a radar and nav and HSI. I can't, or it will be less accurate. We're going to test it. When we get on the runway, um, we'll, we'll see if, if everything is pointed in the right direction. I'm just curious. Usually, I would. Usually, I would align the ILS and all, INS sorry, and all that. But today, I just, I want to fly, man. Uh, we haven't got very far, <laughs> so I don't want, because, I mean, I don't know, in, in the past, when I've had those INS 
um, issues, I had to like basically completely restart the aircraft, like get a brand new jet. And I don't want to do that. The bluer side of the sky. That's that's funny. Air to air radar will be fine. Good. That's all I need. That's all I need is the air to air radar. I don't need all the other fancy radars. That is all we need. Anybody else think that the F-15 is quiet? I don't know. I feel like it's quiet. See, I'm, I'm doing like the realistic pilot thing where I take off with the wind. Everybody else is just taking off with the nearest entrance of the runway. Yeah, it's quite quiet. I mean, it may be that way in real life, honestly. It may be that in real life. Any Unicom frequency? Oh, uh, let's find out. Let's see. Uh, comms. ATC airfields 2495. Common is 2530. So technically, be 2530 would be the, uh, the you know, Unicom. I guess we could use 2495. We already on that. And we could do a, a radio thing when we get to the end of the runway and see. We'll announce our intentions this time. In real life, in the pit, all you can hear is the ECS. That makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, when we think of fighter jets and aircraft, we... What? Did my doorbell just ring? The heck? Am I here? Hold on, let me... Am I, am I expecting somebody? Stand by. Oh. Is it Amazon? I don't know. Uh, let's see. But now check check one two okay you guys should be able to hear me now okay so it is a package and we're we're gonna do this we are gonna do this right now hey. oh my butt's in the camera <laughs> all right uh yeah so we have a package here y'all see that um, from freaking china so let me take the sensitive stuff off here first and then i'll we'll unbox it right here live I don't know what it is, and I don't think I, I don't think it's a secret. So as long as it's not under NDA, I can show you. I gotta find out first. I don't know what it is. Where's my scissors? I'll be right back. Let me get my scissors. Scissors. Where are the scissors? I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. All right, all right, we got a package. We got a package, oh boy. I, I'm gonna I'm swap the cameras out for y'all so y'all can see, make this big. Uh, where is my full cam? Oh, not that one. Not that one. I know I have a scene for it. All aboard! Thought I did. Maybe I don't. Oh, we'll just do this. We'll do this like this. Let me get this stuff out. Guys, we got an impromptu live unboxing. What? 
All right, let me just kind of get a sneak peek first. So just to make sure it's not something that I can't show you. I don't want to get you guys all excited if I can't show it to you. Because sometimes people send me stuff and I'm not supposed to show it yet. But this might be... I kind of have... I might know what this is. If this is what I think it is, it got here a lot faster than I expected. But I don't... I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Can I get a... Alright guys. Uh, Karima, we're on the Hoggett... What's it called? The Hoggett server? Could have swore I had a thing. Oh yeah, Hoggett thing. Hoggett thing. Okay. Alright, the only big camera I have, sadly, is going to be this one, so it's the one we're going to use. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is this what I think it is? Is this, is this what I think it is? I don't know. I don't know. Can you guys see on TikTok? Yeah, you can see. Oh! <laughs> it is! Oh snap, y'all! Hold up, this this is crazy. All right, all right. Now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. I'm so glad I answered the door because I think they would have like not dropped it off if uh if I had not. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo. Okay. This is cool. This is gonna be a big freaking deal. We might have to end the stream early today so that I can play with this. <laughs> Anybody want some bubble wrap in the chat? Oh yeah, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. I'm gonna show it. I can show it. Let me just, yeah, they didn't say I couldn't show this, so I'm gonna show it. I'm not under any NDA for this product. You guys ready? Ready to see what's in the black box? Ready to see what's in the black box? It's a mystery box. Any guesses? Let me get some guesses. Throw some guesses in the chat. We'll see what you guys think. <laughs> you want some blue glasses? Where'd my glasses go? Actually, I had them on. I lost them. Anyways. All right, here we go. Flip it like this. I'm going to show YouTube first. You see that? That's Pimax. You know what Pimax is? You know what Pimax is? That's VR. Freaking virtual reality, baby. That's freaking virtual reality. Let's open it up. Ooh, what? 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 I finally get to replace my Oculus Rift. This is the one I already have. And I was trying this out on um, DCS the other day. I have a 4090 and stuff now, so I can finally actually play VR. And it's cool and all, but it's like pixely, man. It's like, I don't know. I just can't really appreciate and enjoy the experience. So. Was looking forward to this. This is Pimax. This is the new one, though. This is the Pimax Crystal. Oh boy, this is supposed to be. Is it like? Is, I think it's an 8K or 12K. I should probably look it up. Let me Google it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually know the details. Pimax Crystal. More about it. what is it? Ooh, it costs sixteen hundred dollars. Jeez. Thirty-five PPD. If anybody knows what that means. Yeah. So yeah, Pimax Crystal. This just came out. I think. Is this like available publicly? So we got the we got the headset here. Y'all can see that. This thing is gonna be nuts. It's actually not as big as I thought it was gonna be. It's smaller. It looks pretty comfy. I cannot wait to fly with this, to race with this, to truck with this, to everything with this. This is going to be fun. Okay, so that's that. So we got some uh, some controllers in here. Easy. It looks very similar to my Oculus, uh, my Rift controllers. They're kind of like tied together right now. That's why they look like they look. But two VR controllers in the box. Um, probably some cords in here. Let's see. This is my unboxing video. <laughs> <laughs> right here. All right, it's like a little like a, a, a comfort color cover kind of thingy. That's cool. That's cool. What else? What is this? 
probably a booklet. Feels like feels like paper. Feels like papel. Oh no, what is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Uh, Kareem says it's OLQLED mini screen, so between 4 and 8K on each eye. Can you imagine? I can't. So I can't wait to try it. Never had 4 8K on each eyeball. I'm not sure if my vision's even good enough to see 8K. <laughs> All right, so there's two of whatever that thing is. This one's like bigger. That's cool. Again, I don't know. I'm gonna have to read the instructions and stuff because I don't know what this is. So shout out to Pimax. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, supporting, supporting me. Um, these guys have we've kind of been talking for a while and been wanting to do some stuff together, and um, this may be finally our chance. Oh, is there no cord that goes on the back? Cause there's probably some more. Oh, there's more stuff in here. So yeah. So this is the hit. This is it. Pimax 8K. Sorry, Pimax Crystal. Which, uh, again, I believe is AK. I don't know for a fact, so you might want to look it up, Pimax.com. And I believe, I need to check my email, but I think we have some kind of 10% discount they're giving me to give to you guys. So stay tuned for that. There will definitely be a video on YouTube for that. Uh, and I'll give my honest opinion. I'm not going to use it right now because we got to do some setup for it. But that's it, guys. Wow, that just showed up just now. That's crazy. That is so unexpected literally came from china i thought it was gonna take like two weeks it took two days so that's it all right so let's get back to our flight back in dcs i'm gonna put this away there we go i i really can't wait i know what i'm doing this weekend oh okay the crystal isn't ak what is it then Namiko? <laughs> I don't actually know. I haven't, I haven't looked into it. But thanks, man, for your feedback. Uh, we got to look into it. I just know it's high res. <laughs> it's, it's freaking high res, whatever it is. It's better than what I got. That's what I know. It's better than what I have. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing, what we came here for, and it's DCS. Whew. That was that's cool. That was cool. All right. Let's get our screen back up. Hopefully we didn't hit anything. Did I die while I was gone? Anything bad happen? Uh, how long did it take me to learn the module to be confident in the jet? Uh, I would say... Uh, we're not stuck, are we? We're definitely in the grass. Um, it, let's see. Let's use F-15, for example. F-15 came out. Um, I immediately picked it up and started learning it. Wow, we are struggling to get out the gas. Have to use afterburners to get out of the grass. That's crazy. Uh, so when I first... Actually, you know what? Let's talk about that when we get in the air. I'm going to come back to that. Let's get airborne here. Oh, I... My track IR turned, took it off. Track IR is on my headset so I can look around. Ah, there we go. Ah, let's do it. Oh no. Alright, cool. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Alright, so we are clear to the right. And, oh, the wind just changed. And I think, nope, there's one aircraft taking off right now. It's like an F-18, so we'll wait for him before we depart. And looks like that's not working either. Let's see. Got to set my controls again. All right, he's off. Let's go. Alright, runway is clear. Can you see me in a dogfight? You don't want to see me in a dogfight. You don't. You don't want to watch that. You don't want to watch that. Trust me. 
All right, guys, we're in runway, runway 13. So you can actually see as we're facing exactly 13 how far off our deviation here is on our heading. Now, we don't know for a fact this is 130, the heading. It might be like 129, but it is definitely off a few degrees. So let's go ahead, burner on. Brakes release. All right, this time I'm taking off the flaps. We'll see how that goes. Oh, we, we did forget to take off trip again. That's, we, we seemed to be okay last time. All right, and up. Yeah, I liked it better without the flaps. It was a bit twitchy there on takeoff. We also have a tailwind, or no. The wind is kind of variable, it's kind of changing. All right, let's roll to the left. And let's fence in here. We are airborne. All right, let's try this again. So far, radar looks fine. Is the radar on? Yes, yes it is. Uh, mad dogs must be good in the dogfight. I mean, some of them are. I mean, eventually, when we get to the point that we're like, you know, open for business, I'm sure we'll all be better at dogfights. But at the moment, in my training, I am not great in dogfights. But I do love to do them. They're pretty fun. Uh, we were doing some dogfights the other night. I, I was flying. What was I flying? I think I was flying the F-16. Yeah, I was flying the F-16. Because again, as I've been mainly focusing on learning the F-16 and flying that. Today is kind of just a fun flight for the F-15, but usually I work on the F-16, and I was trying to get a bit better at just maneuvering the aircraft, learning the, the flight characteristics, what, what's the best maneuvering speeds, and uh, what's its weaknesses, you know, things like that. Let's come out of burner now and slow up a bit. And uh, so, yes, I did some dog fighting just to kind of get the grips of that. I'm still not great, but I have a better idea. But it comes with practice. You just got to practice that stuff, practice those maneuvers. All right, we're heading northbound. We're not going to go the same direction we did last time because last time we got shot. But we're going to go stay a bit more inland here because last time we came by, there was a enemy SAM that shot us down just off our left wing there on the coast, right in the middle of the city, just a SAM sitting right in the middle of the city. Like, what the heck? We were literally just looking at Dubai International Airport, enjoying the view, and got got smurfed. All right, but Dubai is friendly, so there's like some enemies right not far from Dubai. Uh, can you evade sand missiles? Yes, I can, but I have not yet proven that in today's stream. All right, so we have a few jets. Uh, again, we now know that triangles are friendly, so um, we're just gonna. IFF them or interrogate them, aka um, kind of like shining a light on them to see if they're friendly or not. That's a Sam. Why am I not getting anything here? Did we do the backseat? Yeah, we did. Let me just double check here. Try to BR. Yep, yep, that all is fine to me. I'm getting like a SAM blip, but I'm not seeing a SAM on my TWS. Okay, now I see things. I must have been, on, I was in the HSI, that's why. All right, we got a F-15 here, EW, E-2, Hawksite, 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 and something's over there. And another F-15 just popped up behind us, probably friendly. Yes, g Slet. I'm sure we'll get a chance to prove it today. I'll do my best. I'm going to do my best to not die again in today's live stream. All right, we are now past the point that we died last time. <laughs> so we're making progress. We've already lived longer than last time we were in the air. Uh, did I know that the F-15 can spot helicopters as well that are low altitude? They got special setting for that. Yes, actually, I did know that, but I don't really know how to specifically do it on purpose. Speaking of that, we need to check on our radar elevation here. 
We're only scanning 15,000 to 25,000. All right, I got some squares flying at us. So I think last time I got it wrong. I said triangles were enemies. No, squares are enemies, right? And circles are friendlies. So there's a couple of squares right here, but there's also a couple of friendlies right here. So I'm kind of scanning them. We're at 21,000 feet. Angels 2 1. Oh, sweet. F4, you're flying behind me? Cool, man. Thanks for flying along. If I would have knew you were back there, I would have waited for you, man. We could have took off together. My F-15 is blipping ahead. All right, this is where it really kind of gets to it, because we don't have any help on the on the map. There's nothing telling us that, hey, there's friendly or enemy out there. We don't know. We don't need... Can we get some AWACS calls? That would be super helpful. All right, we got a circle right there, so I think that is, that is a friendly. Can I get an AWACS message here? Overlord 1-1, can I get a picture? Overlord 1-1, is that possible? All right, we're still climbing past Angels 2-5. Uh, F4, what is your mission, bro? I can back you up. I can uh, give you some air support. I can give you some backup if, if needed. And I think these two squares here at 21,000 feet are actually friendly. We're just going to kind of, we're going to ping them one more time. And double check. Yep, I got circle, circle, dot, dot. Now I got a cootie shot. Yep, that looks good over there. Uh, some circles over here as well. So everything in our immediate range is all friendly. That's good. That means that we're good. Uh, we just got to watch out for SAMs because we are going to get closer to some pretty nasty SAMs here in a little bit. Mission will restart in 20 minutes. That's not what I want to hear. Oh, I see you. Yeah, how about... Um, I need a little bit of practice in some formation of flying. How about F4? I don't know how the heck you're typing in chat and flying at the same time, but you are amazing. So how about, since you're like more important, you actually have like, you know, bombs and stuff. How about you take a lead here and I'm going to practice my formation flying off your wing. So go ahead and move forward and then I'll follow you. And uh, you can lead me to your target area and I'll just give you backup since I'm only air to air. I'll just make sure that the picture's clean. All right, there is... Uh, the Dubai area over there. Beautiful. Still, like, I don't know how you're texting and flying, bro. Like, how are you doing? <laughs> how? All right, we're at Angels 3-0, 30,000 feet. Uh, so far, everything up to 40 miles is clear. All right, where'd he go? Where'd he go, George? Where'd he go? I lost them already. Oh, is he down there? Nope, that's a triangle. Yes, Jay, we've lived longer this time. Yes, we have. I lost you, bro. Where'd you go? He was behind me, and then he wasn't. Oh, he's still behind me. <laughs> okay, he's, he's my blind spot. He's right there. So I'll slow down a bit. I'm doing uh, 270. I don't think my radio is working, so I don't know if I can talk to you on SRS. I'm going to hop on the autopilot here. Split the engine like Maverick. <laughs> Got to get some screenshots too, man. That's, for my, that's what you do, man. In DCS world, when you're in route to the AO, just do some screenshots. Thank you, young Maddie. Hot for the follow. Welcome to the Blue River family. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Welcome back. All right, there it is. All right, you're one. I'm two. On you. Autopilot off, please. Thank you. Uh, we are on the Hoggett Persian Gulf at War server on DCS Open Beta. Uh, the server will be resetting in 20 minutes, it just said. So uh, if you do get on, just be aware. Um, I, we may stay on server after it resets. We'll see what happens here. But uh, we have F4 Phantom, who's in chat now, taking lead of this flight as we're flying over to his strike area. And I'll be his backup here as I'm watching the radar, making sure there's no sneaky jets coming up. 
Hello, my friend Juan Pierre from the Netherlands. Good to see you, my friend. Always good to see my friends here from the from Europe. All right, you're pushing 300. Copy that. You do want to watch out behind these engines. I'm not sure if this server simulates it because it's a, it's a by server kind of thing. But uh, a lot of servers that are a bit more realistic, they have wake turbulence turned on. And if you get in that engine wake, it'll definitely throw you around and it's very, very uncomfortable. I'll do my best to stay here on his wing the best that I can. Again, I have not been really flying the F-15 a whole lot, so every aircraft flies differently as way how they, um, like the pitchiness of them, the throttle input, all that stuff. So um, you kind of got to practice formation flying. Uh, he's in my blind spot. Let's get him out of my blind spot. We'll put him over there. It's telling you that PGAW is offline. There's a PGAW uh, backup as well. Uh, unless DCS had an update and they reset the server or something. But we're on the server and there's people in here. That's a fact. Really? So some planes override that setting because the F-14 you still get engine quake when flying with your friends when it's off. Good to know. Sounds good. F-4, I'm just following you, man. You do your thing, bro. Um, whatever you do, though, just make sure you make, you know, like if you're going to turn left, turn right, just do it smoothly uh, so I can anticipate it. Don't make any sudden movements. But so far, I'm just going to take another peek. We have something out here ahead of us about 20 miles out. I'm going to scan it and just check it, make sure... It's not trying to kill us. And it looks like it is friendly. So he's armed up with a ton of, looks like uh, GBUs, laser guided bombs. Get some altitude here. Yeah, F4 Phantom, I'm not sure if you're in a squad, bro, but keep in mind, bro, we are working on creating a brand new squad from the ground up. We're still in the planning phases, so we're not yet ready to accept any new members, but um, if you're interested, just keep an eye on the channel. I'll definitely be promoting it. Oh, you have Mark 82s. Okay, sounds good. Right, we do have a Sam up ahead. That's what that sound is. We know this now. That sound is a... <laughs> A freaking yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna get shot by that. If it gets a loud, loud high pitch, then we know we're about to die. Again, if you're watching on TikTok, I do apologize, you can't hear any game sounds. I'm hoping in the future to do this stream directly to TikTok and not just from my phone. So thank you guys for watching, enjoying commentary and the and the visuals. But this is DCS World. If you guys are just joining us, we're in the F fifteen Strike Eagle by Razbam Simulations. We're flying over in the Persian Gulf area, uh, Dubai is now to our south. You're t you, <laughs> you just turned on the batteries in the 737 and the sand warning came on from the stream and you jumped. That's hilarious. Not to lie, some of the sounds you hear in some of the silver aviation airplanes um, kind of freak me out. It reminds me, like, kind of like, you know, remembering getting shot at and stuff like that from DCS. All right, cool. F4 says there's a port to the left you're going to check out. Sounds good. As I said, I'll follow you. And I will provide cap. Thank you so much, Hoochie Glide, for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a great, amazing, blessed day, my friend. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I really do appreciate it. Do you expect to see more videos? Obviously, next week I got more train sim videos coming for Derail Valley. I got more trucking videos coming for Euro Truck Sim and the Formula One Mosa Racing World Tour. Uh, as well as obviously we got even more airliner flying and things like that. 
And uh, actually, you know what? I don't think it's a secret, so I'm just going to tell you guys. And if it is a secret, it's between us. <laughs> uh, but later this month, um, I just found out that I will be streaming directly to Microsoft Flight Simulator's official Twitch channel. Thank you, Dijon, for that sub. Welcome to, welcome aboard. Welcome to the blue team. Um, but yeah, I'll be streaming uh, later in the month. I think it's the 28th, I believe. I'll be streaming directly to Microsoft's Twitch channel. So definitely come by and give me some support over there. Say hi in the chat. It's going to be pretty cool. It's a pretty big deal, man. Like, that's freaking Microsoft Flight Sims Twitch channel. Like, I mean, come on. Like, rough. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's a pretty big deal. I'm excited. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, UCE, it's a chance. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Good to see you as well. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, actually, no. This time it will not be air racing. The last two times that I was on the Microsoft... Man, I'm doing a good job of flying formation right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised at myself. Uh, the last two times I was on the Microsoft channel, um, I was kind of like more of a, uh, a commentator. Uh, not really a... I guess you could say a bit of a host, a guest host. Um, but this time is actually like a legit stream. Like I'm like flying, I'm doing what I usually do on my channel, except on Microsoft channel. So, yeah man, come through. Rivi Delta uh, 6 9 welcome aboard. Good to see you. Uh, Rashad King just slid over from TikTok. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you. Welcome to the channel. By the way, if you are on TikTok and you're just wondering, uh, we are live on YouTube. You can just search me, Blue Games, B-L-U Games. Uh, there should also be a link tree, but a uh, link on my actual TikTok channel to get to all of my links. But uh, we're streaming live on YouTube. We're also live on Kick, but that's not really a big thing right now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, mainly YouTube. So if you want to watch the stream with audio and maybe even a better perspective, um, you can watch on YouTube. Come say hi in the chat. All right, port off is in the nose. Copy that. Mikey D, how am I doing, bro? I know you've been practicing the F-15 lately. How am I doing? Am I doing all right? Am I doing all right? All right, so most likely what we'll do, because he's going to have to get nice and low to drop those bombs, uh, we're going to stay high and just kind of patrol uh, the skies, make sure that the airspace is clear so that he doesn't um, get shot down by any, any uh, oh, there's some flares. I don't like that. He knows he's getting shot at. Yep, he's in the burner. All right, I'm going to go combat spread. Yep, he's, he's turning. He's turning. He's burning hard. He's burning hard. He's getting shot at. That's for sure. Yep, and so are we. <laughs> Flare. Where is the Sam at? Uh, it's SA six uh, at the hour behind us. All right. So you guys said you want me to see me dodge some Sam. So that's what we're doing right now. Flare. 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 I don't see it. Oh, it's coming. Oh, I see smoke trail. Over there, you see that? Oh, it's coming. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Go, 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 come on. All right, hitting the deck. All aboard! I hope we don't run out of flares here. All right, we know where they are now. They're that way. Copy, F4 is going low for lunt. All right, yeah, they're SA6s. They're not that bad, but they'll sneak up on you, man. They'll sneak up on you. All right, we're nice and low. We should be masked. We should be low enough to be maxed so they can't see us on their radar. Uh, so we'll kind of, uh, we'll probably flip around here nice and low. <laughs> Motorsports Connected says, this is my final name change. I'm sure you're going to change your name again, but welcome aboard, man. I know you as Stock Racer, so if you ever change your name, just tell me what your old name was. 
All right, we're gonna turn back around the opposite direction, and uh, there are Sams here. They are dangerous, uh, but we still gotta make sure the skies are clear. How are we doing on fuel? Fuel state is 21,000 pounds. The F-15 man with two bags on psh, is good, bro. Like, like you really are good on fuel. You can you can stay up on you can stay on station for probably like two hours, I would guess. Even in burner. Not the whole time, of course, but in and out of burner, dodging Sam's and stuff like that. Ooh, good question. When flying southwest, do I put SWA or WN? I put SWA. I usually use the three letter identifier identifier when flying airliners. Um, I know that flight aware and Flights uh, Radar 24. They show the. They show both. They'll show the, the two digit or the two letter one. I want to gain some altitude. See if they can still see us from out here. The, the Sams are definitely on. One way we could probably help out if we wanted to really be a good help in this situation is we could return to base and hop in either F16 or a F18 and do some seed, uh, which will be destroying enemy Sams. But again, we're gonna stick to the F-15 for this live stream. Maybe next time we'll do, uh, we'll probably do the F-16 next time and show you guys the new Thrustmaster Viper throttle. Love that thing. We're still strictly air to air, but as you can hear, we are getting pinged and painted. Uh, we got a lot of mud spikes or SAMs hitting us up on the radar. That shadow looks weird. This should not be a massive ugly shadow down there like that. All right, we just gotta stay alive for five more minutes the server's going to be resetting. There you go, Leo. Thank you, man, for chiming in on that. Southwest call sign is SWA, but the flight number is WN. Whiskey November. I think we're all right. I think we are all right. Yeah, I see about two or three Sams down there. I don't, know, I don't care what y'all say. I like that livery. <laughs> okay, what y'all say? I like it. I like it. All right, it was kind of, like I said, we're, we're running, um, we're doing cat. We have another F-15 down doing ground strike, doing some ground pounding. And we're just going to try to stay out of Sam, um, out of the Sam's, I should say distance, but just try to, try to avoid the Sam's while scanning the skies for any possible air threats. So far, everything is friendly. You got one here at 11,000. See what he's doing. That's a friendly. Yeah, everything is friendly so far, at least over here. I think the uh, enemy fighter jets move more to the north. So he said that the... Oh, there it is. Oh, wait a second. That is not... What the heck? Where did that come from? Where the heck did that come from? Oh, it's over there. Oh my god, we're so <laughs> flare! You see that freaking tra con freaking heat smoke? What is that? Oh, he freaking killed one of us. What the heck is that? F-14? Why are we getting shot by an F-14? I think I'm out of flares. I'm out of flares, guys. Ah, uh, evade, evade. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> yeah, somebody's on me, bro. Somebody's on me. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting out of here because I don't even know where they are. They have the advantage on me. I think it's an F-14. Uh, how do I drop altitude. tanks? <laughs> Mike. Like for real, I actually don't know.
F4, did he get you? Uh, Shadow, no, this is Persian Gulf. This is not a new map at all. <laughs> Leo says players ain't gonna help. Those are Fox 3s. Thank you, man. Yeah, I had a feeling they were. I just, I just freaking spammed anything I could hit. Oh, shoot. We're fine. I'm just pull a 9G's. That's it. This dude is still freaking on me. I don't know where he's at. Alright, so our wingman has been killed. We got slammed by a Fox 3. And we might have the same death if we don't avoid this. Right, I do have chaff. I have chaff. Oh no! No! <laughs> How do we save that? Oh my god, I need an instant replay. I thought we were dead. Okay, we might be dead now. How are we not dead? Oh my god. Alright, we gotta get out of here. How is he still on me, bro? Like, come on, I'm freaking flying like Tom Cruise right now. To turn into a song, pull up, 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 pull up. Okay, we are. Uh, oh, servers reset. Server reset. We survived. We survived. Oh, <laughs> oh! make sure to monitor your G's on your HUD. Going over 9 G's will mold your wing into a weird position and make you fly wonky. Copy that. Man, that caught me off guard. Seriously. I was literally just looking at the radar. I was like, oh, yeah, we're good. Everybody's friendly out here. And the next thing you know, I'm getting freaking ping by an F-14. All right, I want to spawn back at Aldafra. Again, guys, if you're just joining us, we are at on the Hoggett uh persian gulf at war server i believe everybody spawns it out Dothra. you guys doing all right in chat you guys you good you you want to end it here you want to you want to keep going let me know i can do like 20 more minutes i can do one more flight one more sort of tea. all right we back in the jets sorry for my squeaky chair Oh, we don't want this lame livery. Should I do it to him? Should I do it to him? All right, we're gonna do air to air again because I'm coming for freaking blood now. I'm coming for revenge. Like this dude snuck up on me. I'm surprised we stayed alive. All right, aim nine, Mike Sidewinders, one twenty C's. Get the fuel tank. Uh, Mike, I'll put it right there. Do one twenty, one twenty, one twenty. I don't know why I'm bringing the TDP, but whatever. I'm a little upset, man. I feel bad. I'm sorry, F4. Over. I should have spotted him. I should have spotted him, bro. Thank you, Mikey the Hammer, for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family. I hope you're doing well. God bless you, my friend. Happy freaking Friday. Happy Fighter Friday. All right. Should I do it to him? Should I do it to him? Yeah, shit. Request rearming. Going desert. <laughs> uh, no F-22 or F-35. There is an F-22 and an F-35 mod for this game. Yes. Um, I don't have. I don't have them on this server though. Chris Ioman, thank you for the subscription as well. Welcome aboard, my good friend. I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, currently loading up our weapons. <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Do it for the taxpayers. Yes, yes. Oh man, that got intense. I that was some good missile avoidance. I would love to watch the tack view of that, but I'm not running tack view. 
I wish I was because I would love to see where the missile actually was and how close I was from death because I'm pretty sure I was a lot closer to dying than I thought. Actually, I felt pretty darn close to death. All right, so guys, we're back in the Persian Gulf. Thank you, Loot227, for the follow. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, so we're in Al Dhafra right in here in the south, here by Abu Dhabi. And I think the server actually restarted completely. Let me see. What is this? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is a, a brand new server. The mission is completely reset. So the front line has moved up. So these two circles here are, uh, yeah, these are bad guys. These are bad guys. So we got some bad guys here, got some bad guys there, or in the area. We don't know exactly where. Um, Intel was pretty shady. We got some bad guys here. A lot of FARP stuff. Should we fly the Apache? You guys want to fly the Apache? Or you want to stay in the F-15? Let me know, chat. What you guys want to see? Because we could, we, I could definitely go die in the, in the Apache. <laughs> Oh, man, let's see what else we got. I kind of want to stay in the 15, though. I do kind of want to stay in it. Yeah, we'll stick with what we got. We'll stick with what we got. Yep, I got you, Louts. We'll hop in the F-15 strike. You guys. We should be good on loading our weapons. We got F-15 over there. All right, cool. Let's get started. All right, so left... Generators left and right. Oop, not that button. That button. Boom, boom. Right side. We'll turn on the engine master switches and the starter to on. And let's try not to forget anything on this startup and pull that. We can now hear the engine starting up. Oh, Blackout wants to join. I don't know, man. Are you in chat? I don't trust you. <laughs> like, like, speak up or forever hold your peace. I, I will much, I will definitely gladly allow you to sit in my back seat, but I gotta make sure that you're not some troll trying to kill me. Uh, how is the F-15 overall in its current state? Oh, he wants to join again. <laughs> um, I think it's good, man. I think it's great for an early access aircraft. Alright, start engine 2. I think it's great for early access uh, aircraft. There's definitely f features I would like to see. There's there's a few bugs here and there. We haven't really got a major update since it released yet that I know of. Oh, it's you, F4? All right, I got you. Hop in, bro. Hop in the jet, bro. What's up? <laughs> Move your head so I know you're back there. Move your head. Move your head. Come on, do it. Do it. Move your head, buddy. Okay, he's not going to move his head. Is he gonna do it? I know there's a, it's a lag on chat. You, you don't. You gotta wait a while. Okay, maybe from the outside view. Move your head. Not you. The guy in the back. Okay, he's not doing it. It's okay. All right. Uh, let me finish up startup. Uh, if you could take care of the backseat stuff, that would be freaking amazing. All right, starting engine two. Um, but yes, to continue answering your question, allows. So yes, uh, in its current state, I think it's a great early access jet. Um, it's definitely missing some features. If you're like really into F-15s, like if you know everything about them, then you'll probably recognize the things it's missing. But if you're not like me, then it feels like a, a, it feels done. Um, there are a couple things that I personally want to see, and one of those is I want to see them add the uh, GPS guided bombs. Um, that's a big thing for me. I, I use those a lot in F-18s, in F-16s. And so when I came to the F-15 and found out there's no GPS guided bombs, they only have laser, I was like, crap. Um, because with laser guided bombs, you got to be at a certain altitude. And usually that altitude is way too low to avoid SAMs. All right, engine two is good, starting one. And we'll get this on. But I think it's good, man. I think it's 100% worth the purchase, to be honest. I think that's what you're asking. Is it worth it? 100% worth it. 100%. And you will not regret buying the F-15. 
uh, TWS. Bro, how'd you get your jet started so fast? I guess I'm just taking forever. Another cool thing is I don't hear it right now, but when you turn the radar on, you can actually hear the radar bouncing off the dome. That's really cool. All right, oxygen. And we'll go ahead and close it. Why not? <laughs> you're an 18 guy, but full fidelity gets you going. Yeah, you're right, Leo. It doesn't. I, I guess I misspoke. It doesn't feel done until we get JDMs. That's correct. That's, I feel the same way. Uh, I was excited about the F-15 coming out to DCS. And, you know, it was a day one purchase for me. I, I think I, I do love the way it looks, the way it flies, the way it handles, just everything about it. The radar is really nice. Actually, no, I take it back. I don't like the air-to-ground radar. But that's just, that's, that's not like they did it bad. I just don't like the way it is. <laughs> uh, I like the F-18's um, ground radar and, and the F-16's as well. Mainly the, uh, the pod, the, uh, the pod down there on the bottom. I like the F-18 and the F-16's pods better. All right, are we good? Both engines started up. Can we do the INS now? I don't want to click on anything. Forehand. Let me see. Move your head, bro. A seizure. Nope. I think I got that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's do INS store. We'll do store this time. And we'll get our screens turned on. And hopefully it works this time. But yeah, so I, the things that I don't like about the F-15 is I don't like that there's no JDMs, GPS-guided bombs. I don't like the actual air-to-ground radar. Like, it's kind of cool, but also don't like it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just preference, maybe. Other than that, everything else about the jet is cool. Um, it also seems a bit quiet. But I, do, I don't regret. Oh, I forgot the brake hold. Hopefully it doesn't screw us up. Um, but yeah, other than that, I like it. I do like it. But again, it's not going to be my, my main jet. That's what I, I've flown it. I've learned enough about it to be dangerous in it, to shoot stuff at it. Um, with it, I should say. But, you know, knowing what I know about the F-18 and the, and the F-16, I prefer to fly those. Fire, Waters, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome to the Blue Team. Wrong Side Simulations is in the chat. What is up, bro? How you doing, my friend? My dispatching friend. <laughs> Bro, I wish I could have been there for those streams. I actually lost. I had the shades on and I went to get a package, which ended up being a new Pimax VR headset. They literally showed up while we were streaming, did a whole unboxing. And um, I think I left them in the kitchen when I was looking for scissors. Uh, Adri, Blue F1 Tour, Budapest, yes, sir. Um, I'm actually planning on recording my video of my flight to Budapest right after this stream, as long as we don't, you know, stay too late. Um, I was going to do a live stream, but I think I'm going to do a, a pre-recorded video for that. It's going to come out next week before the next F1 race. That's the plan. All right, are we still waiting for this thing? Oh, look at that. It says okay. Cool. That was fast, too. All right, I think we're done. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, that, dude, there we go. Oxygen is on. We got our inlets good. All that takeoff trim. Ha, ha, ha. I remember now. Uh, mic is on, lights are on, set this to uh, nav, radar, on, I think we're good. Oh, so I stand by ADI here. Set, altimeter set, and brake hold off. Left, right, clear. All right, it's taxi. Oh, wait, we need to uh, call the ground crew, get them to remove the chocks. Almost forgot. I always forget about that. Remove chocks. Uh, no switch to nav. Do the A-10s. Yes, g Slide. they do have A-10s, and they're great. Um, the A-10 and DCS is amazing. The TikTok went on pause. Is it dead? My phone might be dead. <laughs> it was almost dead before we started. 
Let's see, why did TikTok go on pause? Oh, because low battery warning. That's what it was. Are we still are we still live? Thank you, man, for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. I gotta reset it up now. Hold on, guys. Takeoff trim is set. Oh, hold on. Sorry about butting the camera. I'm doing multitasking. Like, I'm trying to stream on TikTok and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys who are watching on TikTok. I do appreciate you guys. Sorry I haven't been able to, like, see the chat because, like, you know, it's behind me. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying the stream. And if you want to watch with all the audio and stuff, you can come by YouTube and check us out. Say hi over there. What's up, Dylan? Welcome aboard, man. All right. We are ready. We have a new hire dispatcher in ground school at your airline who saw the Blue Experience episode we did. That episode made him decide to pursue. That is crazy. And you're his freaking boss? Uh, that is, that's amazing, bro. I'm so thankful and blessed how that episode went, bro. Like, thank you, like, for coming in and, and making awareness that dispatching is a dope aviation career that you can pursue. Um, so, yeah, if you guys haven't heard, we do have a podcast called The Blue Experience with me and XP72. All right, let's go. And uh, we had an episode, was that last year now? Had an episode, what follows F-18, where... Um, we talked with Wrong Side Simulations, who's in the chat now. He has his own YouTube channel as well. He streams uh, Flight Sim and um, stuff like that. Microsoft Flight Sim, all that. And uh, he came on the show and gave us kind of an insight on the job of dispatching. Like, what is dispatching? What does that even mean uh, for airlines? So he's a real-world airline dispatcher, and uh, it's a really cool job. I'm actually, I'm still, I know I haven't really moved on this but i'm still personally even considering um you know depending on how life goes um pursuing the career of airline dispatching i think it'd be pretty cool it sounds like a pretty nice job and i love aviation and i you know when you when you do something like that uh, and the perks of it as well like it's i feel like it'd be pretty satisfying uh how does one become a, dis a dispatcher it's easy to meet a pilot you literally like search Dispatching school or airline dispatching specifically because you could probably go to trucking dispatching stuff like that uh, Search airline dispatching in your area and you may find a school nearby uh, Go to school and that's it <laughs> Was it like six weeks you said uh, wrong side like a six weeks class and Take that class you learn everything there is to know about dispatch all from the FAA and all that and then You find a job that's I mean that's the dumbed down version, but it's pretty simple all right, left is clear. Right is clear. F-18 is airborne and in the air. Actually, is there a plane down there? No, that's not. All right, back seat. Did he do it? Did he do the back? Can I go to back seat still? I can't because he's back there. All right, hopefully he did everything he needed to do back there. Oh! We have a man down. Hornet pilot down. Took off and died immediately. Smoke cloud right up ahead. All right, guys, we're rolling. Airspeed's alive. 80 knots. Love the TPR rotor pedals. Look how smooth I can be to keep it. Ooh, I'm, I'm still learning, but you know. All right, rotate. All right. Gear up. Positive rate, and we'll fly over this wreckage of this F-18 that crashed just now. I'm not sure what happened. He must have stalled it. Got to call in the... Uh, all in the guys to hopefully fix that all right so this is a completely different picture here guys we're up in the air now we uh server has been reset so we don't know where anything is so really we're kind of one of the first ones to go up and find out exactly what the situation is so you gotta be very careful here see a few things popping up on screen here underneath us i'm going to get fenced in here so massive caution on lights off and we'll, oof, hold on, we'll come out of burner there. Got some trim. I right, copy teapot's turning on. I'm assuming you know how to use it, because I don't. <laughs> Alright, Dubai is still showing green smoke, which means it's friendly. Sounds good, F4. Yeah, man, I mean, honestly... 
Uh, we're really just up here for air to air stuff, but if you want, you could also use a teapot to keep an eye out on what's happening on the ground, maybe find out where exactly the SAMs are, and uh, it's kind of give me a, a, an idea of what to avoid. Um, we, I, I feel like enemy is pretty close. Yep, hear that? There's a SAM. We're actually flying right over it. That's the same, eh, that's a different one. It's a similar one to what killed us last time. I'm gonna head off to the east while climbing. Alright, we should be clear of that Sam now. Turn back around. Where is it? I think he's over over there somewhere. Keep an eye out for missile smoke coming up as well. Watch out for that. Oh boy. Let's see how this desert looks like in the desert. Oh, that looks sick. Back in the flight deck. Alright, it's like it's a laser's armed in the back seat. So right now we're actually flying shared cockpit in a way. Um, F4 Phantom is actually in the back seat with us right now. So he's actually uh, controlling the back seat stuff. He can actually laser designate targets. He can he can do a lot of stuff back there. Oh, what the heck? Uh, we're hit. Eagle One's hit. Lost the left wing. And I don't know what we get hit by. Looking for somewhere to land. I think everything around us is enemy, though. What the heck? I got zero warning. All right, can we make it back to Dubai? All right, we still have flight controls. I lost my middle screen, though. Or was it ever on? I never turned it on. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> All right, we're at RTB if we can make it. I don't know what shot us. Left wings are optional. Yeah, it seems like it. The problem is we're going to eventually burn out of fuel. Box two, maybe? Yeah, that's possible. I don't see anything in the air. We're gonna do a bit of an S here, see if anything's behind us. I don't see anything. Could it be like a sneaky F5, F5 or something? What is that? Oh, the moon. <laughs> That's the moon. Well, they definitely see us. We're just a massive flare in the sky. Alright, we're heading south, looking for Aldafra for emergency landing. Uh, we should have enough fuel to get back. Just gotta avoid whatever the heck shot us. Maybe look at, I mean, we're at, we're at almost 18,000 feet. There's no way a man pad hit us. I'm trying to think what could have shot us with no warning besides a Fox 2. And it barely clipped us because it got our wing and that's it. All right, is that that's is that it? Is that our airport? Yeah, I think that's our airport. Be sure. Yes, I'm sure that's our airport. Yeah, yeah, we have two pilots in the freaking plane. Neither of us saw it coming. <laughs> like what? Like, what? Alright, we're going, or is it there? Is it is? We're gonna go straight in. Uh, whatever it is, I think we're clear of it, because, I mean, you would think he would have finished us, finished us off by now. Keep an eye out. 
Oh, you have tag cam set up? Uh, how do I turn it on? It says tag can off. There it is, tag can on. Alright, we're descending. We're gonna go straight in. So I got the speed brakes out. Bro, they took my freaking wing off. I am offended. Oh, look at that, too. It also exploded my weapons on that side of the plane. That's even more dangerous. That's interesting. You see that? So, we didn't fire a single missile in this mission. And everything on that side of the plane, all the ordnance on that side of the plane is gone. What's up, Titan? Welcome back, man. Good to see you. Uh, you got here right in time for an emergency landing. You have two souls on board. So it's more important than ever to get back on the ground because I do not want to be the one that has to go talk to F4 Phantom's family and tell them what happened. And say, we didn't see it coming. I don't know. I don't know to this day. The guy's probably still standing out there. Copy that, 12 miles 308. All right, I'll turn all the lights back on so they see us coming. Well, they, they can already see us coming. We're a fireball. We are a comet. I'm definitely going to, I think we're going to take that call sign comet. Like, I think this, this solidifies call sign comet right here. Let's get a screenshot of that. <laughs> this, this right here solidifies call sign comet. <laughs> I think that's us. Alright, there's a runway. Let's get some trim. I'm going to trim it out to uh, adjust for the left turning that it's doing. I'm not sure if we can trim enough to, to fix it. Alright, seven miles out. Nice and slow. You're down. Alright, our gear still works, that's good. Alright, we're landing on the left runway. Let's go ahead and focus here. Power, power. Yeah, plane feels better now that uh, I've trimmed it out, but how much longer is that, the, what's, re what's left of that wing, how much longer is that actually going to stay there? Like, it might completely break off. We still have uh, 22,000 uh, pounds of fuel. Total. Alright, we're a bit high. I'm just kind of stalling it on purpose to lose some altitude here. Hey, you see, like. Yeah, look at that wind pushing us. You see that wind pushing us? That yeah, we're slow. Low altitude. Low altitude. Easy, easy. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, a bit of a float. Oh, we're down. We're down. Hold the nose up. Hold the nose up. Hold the nose up, hold the nose up, arrow breaking. Don't tail strike. Keep flying the plane and softly set it down. Okay, that's a little rougher than I wanted to. There we go, we made it! Ooh. Oh my god. We're still on fire. We're still on fire. I feel like we should eject. <laughs> we need to get out of this thing immediately. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. <laughs> Uh, what's my call sign? I mean, in the game right now, it's just blue, B-L-U. If you're looking for me on the server. All aboard! We're gonna get a new jet. It takes too long to repair. I'm gonna get a new jet. 
Bro, what the heck hit us, man? Like, seriously. Like, I legit have no clue what hit us. All right. All right, one more time. This is the last one, like, for real, for real. Like, for real, for real. Yes, you can join, except... And we do nine mic. No bombs. 120C, 120C. I really think we got hit from something on the ground. I don't think we got hit from something in the air. If something in the air hit us, it would have chased us down and finished us. And that's not what happened. We got hit, no warning, and then we just flew around with one and with one wing on fire. Thankfully, thankfully we had both engines. But which would have made it much harder if we only had one engine. So having two engines was a huge help. So copy. What's up? It's green. Welcome my friend again from TikTok. Thank you for joining us over on the stream. Thank you so much, man. Alright, so we get these on. Fuck with board. Glad you can finally actually see and hear everything uh, as it's being shown here. I know, again, on TikTok, it's just kind of like me talking. You can't really hear <laughs> the game, sadly. I hate that, but, you know, eventually, um, I got to meet a certain threshold on TikTok to be allowed to stream directly from my PC. So hoping to hoping to meet that in the near future. All right, so we'll get everything started up here on the right. Pull the jet starter. Rearming complete. Rearming is complete. Yusuf, welcome back, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing great, man. Doing good. Doing great. All right. Uh, fire up engine two. Oop, too much. There we go. What is my favorite jet to fly in real life? Hmm. Hmm. Great question. Well, obviously, I have not gotten the chance to fly a real jet in real life. Oh, there's an F-14. Ah, oh, so cool. Um, hmm, what was my favorite jet, though, in real life? I think I want to say the Super Hornet. It's tough, but I think I want to say the Super Hornet is my favorite jet in real life. I right, had two still firing up. But I don't know, man. I like, I like the F-16, too. The F-16 was, like, originally my favorite fighter jet. And then I got into DCS, and I learned how to fly the F-18, and I fell in love with that. So that has now become my favorite fighter jet. Uh, but then recently, <laughs> I started learning how to fly the F-16 again, and I'm, like, falling in love with that plane again. All right, starting one. So, but in real life, I would still say the F-18 Super Hornet. But I do like the F-35. I don't know, the F-35 was cool, but, like, not as cool as some of the older jets. The F-22 was cool, too. But it's not my favorite. All right, and an idle. And that wind is changing direction like a lot. Oh, Dolly or Daily, you're in the F-18 I'm looking at? Cool, man. Well, if you want us to fly with you, you can wait up a few minutes and we can fly along with you. Or you can just go ahead either way. All right, we get our TF radar on, our radar alt on, radar standby, our mic on, our inlets are already on. We'll get all these. Y'all, roll pitch turned on. Oxygen is on. Air conditioning is on auto. You can actually hear the air conditioning when it turns on. It's pretty cool. Uh, both engines are now seem to be stable. We're going to go to brake hold on, and then we're going to align IR INS, but only on store. Thank you guys in chat for teaching me that trick, because I, I would usually go to GC align. Now, if you guys could... If you guys know in chat, what's the difference of store INS and GC align? Like, as far as implementation, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
what can I do on GC Align versus Store Align? Can I still drop laser guided bombs if I was doing that, or um, use a ground radar, stuff like that? Alright, TWS on the right, air radar right on the left, caution clear. Alright, INS is aligning. Uh, do I want TACAN on? Yes, please give me the uh, TACAN for Ald Aldafra. Um, so in case we have the RTB again, uh, we'll have the TACAN so we know where we're going. Like, all I knew, like, I had kind of a spatial awareness of where I was when I took off. And so I knew just head south and we should find the airport. All right, TikTok died again? No problem. My phone, yeah, it's because my phone is dying. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> But we'll say hi to TikTok for a little bit. Say hey, TikTok. Hi, TikTok. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, my phone is dying. I'm surprised it made it this long, to be honest with you. I'm really surprised. But if you have any questions and you're watching on TikTok, send them now. Because I'm actually looking at the chat. Can I reverse the camera? Is that a thing? Is that a ching? Where can you find the Mercedes F1 livery for the PMDG 737? Yes, Audrey, uh, hit me up on Discord, man. Just send me a message on Discord. I just have the message. That's all. that's it. Leo says, get with the F15 squad trainer. He will get you up to speed on stores GC Align. <laughs> Wait, that is you. You are the you are the F15 trainer, to Leo. <laughs> no, I mean this is kind of more of a one-off. I'm not planning on really like training in the F-15. I just want to know how to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I'm going to go back to my main jet. That's really what I plan to do. That's what I plan to do. Alright, we fired up. Are we good? I think we're good. Let's see. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I hit 400 views in the middle of the stream, like at one time or like total. Oh, sweet. Did you just close the, the, the thing? Did you close the thing? I appreciate you. Uh, am, I, am I still? Okay, okay, gee, okay, I gotta pay attention. All right, that's done. Let's do this here. Total, okay, cool. That's sweet, man. That's pretty cool. Pretty good for a nobody on TikTok. I right, INS will go into nav now. We'll turn the radar on. I think pretty much like when the uh, when the stuff is aligned, like you're ready to go. I mean, again, he's taking care of everything in the back seat. I'm just kind of going through, make sure I didn't miss anything. We got the standby altimeter set. Oxygen is on for both of us. Uh, we'll arm our jet or um our seats there. Altimeter is good. Yeah, we're ready to taxi. So taxi lights on, we'll call up the radio. And go ground crew, wheel chocks removed. Remove the wheel chocks. I, I know I said this last time, but for real, this is my last time going up. Like for real, for real. <laughs> like for real, for real. Alright. Yeah, this, like I said, when, whenever we open up for applications and whatnot, because this skin we're rocking right now is going to be exclusive to the squad, so you're going to have to be in the squad to, to rock delivery. It's not going to be a public. It's not going to go on the user files. All right, we're good. Break hold off. Let's go. Uh, winds are still going that way, so we'll take off from that direction. And as always, I'm the last one to t get off the blocks. All right, cool. Sounds good, man. Thank you for waiting for us. We'll fly along with you. What do you have uh, armed up, Dolly? Do you have uh, air to ground, air to air? What you got set up right now? All we have right now is air to air loaded up. Yep, and we do have them loaded. Just double checking that we didn't forget. And by the way, F4 uh, in the back seat. How is everything running? Is it pretty smooth uh, for you as in the back seat? All air to air sounds good. Sounds like we're on the same page. 
All right, guys, this flight will be our permadeath flight. If we die, it is over. The stream ends. <laughs> That's a wrap. If we survive, though, we will return to base when we're ready. So, stakes are high on this one. Uh, on Discord, your flyer Ace 21. Thank you, man. Good to know. Yeah, because I will definitely not know. It's definitely confusing when people have multiple um, names in different areas. So, it's good to kind of clarify that. So, thank you for that. But yeah, chat. What do you guys think? F-15, man. Uh, I know some of you are already flying it in DCS. Some of you don't. Uh, some of you are considering buying it and getting into it. But what do you think? Do you Are you impressed by the F-15? Do you like it? Are you kind of on the fence still? Are you considering getting a different jet instead? I know for some people, if you're brand new to DCS world and you don't have any jets, then you, you, get, you have all the options, right? When I first got into DCS world, we didn't even have an F-18 Hornet. Um, I think, what do we have back then? We had the, what was it called? The Flaming Cliffs pack was like the most common thing to fly when I first got into DCS, which is basically, and it still exists today. It's the old F-15C, uh, the A-10 Warthog, and like some MiGs or something like that. I was mainly flying the F-15 back in the day. And then once the F-18 came out, I jumped on that immediately. Actually, no, I take it back. My first jet that I bought was the F-5. Yes, the F-5 was the first one I bought, and I flew that around. It was pretty fun. But, um, a lot simpler than this. <laughs> Tattoo bacon, you have way too many jets, and half of them you don't know how to fly. Same, same, exact same. All right, Dolly, I'm here. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, definitely take screenshots, man. Uh, I would love to see the screenshots. All right, wins in our favor. Looks to be clear the runway. To our left, looks to be clear to run away to our right. Landing lights on. Oops, not that button. I'll lock my throttles. One thing I like about the A-10 Warthog throttle is that it has a little clip here to allow you to, to split the throttle or lock it. So they just, you know, like that. All right, I'll take the right side of the runway and he can have the left side. Cool, cool. Let's go. All right, how long are we going to last this time? All right, we know there's some baddies to our right. Did I get my radar on? Okay, we're going to need that. Like, all right, takeoff trim. I did it this time. No flaps take off this for me. I am ready to go. All right, holding the brakes. Get like 80%. And burn. Airspeed is allowed as 110 knots. And rotate. Woo! That thing just yanks up. So cool! Alright, we out here. All right, Dolly, um, for the sake of the video and the stream, how about you take lead as you already are? Perfect. And I will follow you into wherever the heck we're going. I'm going to trust you with my life. Stranger. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> 315, you found me. You're all dcs up. What's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome back, bro. Go get them, Tiger. Uh, when you're up, remember the master on off the missiles are on standby. Copy that. Thanks for the reminder. Now, the F-15 is like hella fast. So make sure. All right, master's, master's come on. Uh, we could outrun the F-18 pretty easily. So I think it's better for the F-18 to be the flight lead anyways. So that way the F-18 is not trying to keep up with the Eagle. Unless, you know, I just stay like 350 knots, 400 knots, something like that. Oh, 
Oop, not that button. All right, air to air mode is on. I believe our flaps are up. That's good. Let's go see if we can slot in here to the saddle. I zone 440. Copy that. We'll go on your right wing. Let's go with that. Thank you so much, Olive 23 g for the follow. Welcome to the Blu-ray family. Welcome aboard, my friend. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. All right, let's get in here. Get stable. Yeah, see why I like having my axis here? I can just kind of zoom in without getting in the way. I are a little fast. Very fast, actually. Slow, 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 slow. There we go. Oh, man, that was good. Come on, stay with him. Getting some real good formation flying practice today. Thank you guys for that. You have armor on one machine and DCS on the other, bro. You're a freaking maniac. That's amazing. <laughs> Speaking of armor and shooting at people, has anybody in chat played six days of Fallujah? Please tell me you have, and if you haven't, you need to start, because it, in my opinion, is one of the best and most realistic slash immersive first-person tactical shooters I have ever played. Um, it's right up there with Ready or Not. It's right up there with Ground Branch, and I have been really enjoying it and loving it. Yes, it's fun watching videos on it too. Like when you watch like some of these guys who get together and they like do like real tactical military stuff, like it's like really cool. I, I gotta fix my radar here. Hold on, I'm gonna fall off. T A W S. All right, there we go. But yeah, I definitely re recommend. If you're on the fence about buying it, um, I'll, I'll toss my recommendation in there for you. It's early access, just like a lot of things, but where it's starting is pretty darn good. I see we can get in the slot here on the right. Oh, he's turning. It's really good too when you play with people you know. Like it, the thing, if you don't know what the game is, again, it's a tactical first-person shooter, and it's very important to have a team of people, whether you know them or not, that communicate via the mic. You don't really want to play with people who don't talk. Sometimes, you know, you get lucky and join like a quiet session of people who've been playing the game for a month and they already know what to do and, you know, they're just really good and they can do everything without talking. And honestly, that's a really good group. If you can get in, if you can get with a group of people who just know what to do and can literally move in and clear a building safely without talking because they know what the other going to do, like that's a, that's, that's, that's some, that's a good group of guys. But usually, um, you're going to want to be able to communicate. So, use the mic. It's really cool. So, anyways. I might play a little bit this weekend. We'll see. I have no idea what I'm doing this weekend. I don't know if I'm be busy or what. But if I get any time to play, I'll probably do that. Obviously, I have a new headset to test out now. So, that's something I want to be doing. But other than that, yeah. Uh, ping coming from the front. Copy that. If you can keep an eye on that F4. Uh, I'm mainly watching to stay on this guy's wing, so if you can watch the radar and let me know if you see anything bad. Look at DL at 160. Look down low 160. Why am I getting weight turbulence right now? You see how I'm bouncing up and down? Alright, Jay, have a safe flight out of Indianapolis. 160. That will be off our right, like behind us. Oh, data link. Oh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know how to use data link in the F F8, uh, F15. Unless it's what I'm already looking at. I'll admit, guys, I have survived this mission longer than I expected already.
Oh, I love this game. <laughs> like, th these are the moments, and I, I've said this in many streams before, but like these moments here when you're in route, right before everything is, gets ugly, you're just cruising along, flying in formation. You just really just can enjoy the beauty of this game, man. You really can. Uh, bon Kizzle, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, the mission right now is we are flying northbound here over. We already passed Abu Dhabi, I believe. And uh, we're just really just searching for air to air targets, keeping the skies friendly, <laughs> like United. And um, I haven't seen anything yet. We actually haven't had an air to air kill, surprisingly, in this stream. I, I really thought we'd have a bunch of air to air kills today. About to get real ugly, it's 10 to 15 contacts. All right, I'm gonna go with combat spread here and start looking at the radar, because I'm not even fancy. I'm gonna try to stay near you, but also look at my radar. All right, I'm searching at, how far out are you searching? 160? Let's do a uh, interrogation here. Start seeing what's up ahead of us. And uh, F4, I forget, you can also, um. You can also look at the radar too, so if you see anything, call it out. But I should have did F4, we should have got you on Discord, man. We should have had you on Discord so we could talk. 80 miles, copy that. Oh, there's an F14 behind us. <laughs> That's cool. And I saw him in my mirror. Alright, searching 80 miles. We have a star here, I think that's Bullseye. I don't personally see anything yet. No, triangles are good. Triangles are, tri triangles are not bad people. We like triangles. But not always. Not always. But hold on, I'm getting a little bit out of formation here, trying to look at my radar. There's a triangle ahead of us flying the same direction as us. It's probably a friendly. I'm going to put this on autopilot. I'm going to get it like down and put it on autopilot so I can pay attention. All right, right there is good. Autopilot's on. All right, we can relax for a little bit. And search for some targets. All right, I got nothing inside 80 miles. Unless I'm not looking at the right elevation. No, circles are good too. We're looking for squares. Right? Well, I think some triangles are bad. I don't think all triangles are bad. It depends what neighborhood they come from. There's a triangle right here. Oh, there's a couple triangles right here. Oh, snap. We might have we might have a little action here in the near future. Look at that beautiful F-14. With the Phoenix missiles on the bottom. He's gonna be the first one to shoot, I, I guarantee. You. First contact, 4,000 at 2.5. Wow, that low? How do I change my elevation again? I actually forgot. Is it this button? Oh, it is this button. Cool. <laughs> All right, I got a circle right there. Bro, somebody get a screenshot of this, please. I can't because I'm flying. What a group, an F-18 with an F-14 with an F-15. Uh, you got it on your phone? Dope F-4, thanks man. He's hot? Okay, you guys see him. I don't see him. If you see him, shoot him. 
You are clear weapons hot, weapons free. Master arm is on. Why so low? Yeah, Super Horn is a nice jet. Yep, F4, I'm sorry, I'm looking down at the radar, so that's why. Yep, I got I got contact here, actually. I got a square. A, a, a bad square. Uh, it's that 60-ish. At, uh, what's that, Angels 2, 2, 3, 2, 5? Yeah, I don't know how you guys use the radar and look. <laughs> at the same time. Thank you, Audrey. I appreciate it, man. I'm looking forward to that flight, too. Flying out to Budapest. I'm also planning to post a video of me driving to Budapest in Euro Truck Sim as well, so stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully be out early next week. Yeah, that's a bad guy right there. That's definitely a bad guy. I have already... In I, have, I have pinged him multiple times, and he has continued to come back as a square. I don't have any other contacts though. I only see one. It's weird to only see one bad guy. Like, where is this wingman? All right, we're back in formation. Sometimes I sound like Donnie Simpson, BET 30 years ago. Like, you're gonna have to send me a video. I don't know who that is. That's, be that's before my time. <laughs> Uh, he's inside 40. You guys got that locked up? I'm going to do a, uh, a track here. Let's see. All right, for my loose one contact on deck. Copy. Yeah, TikTok probably pop. I'm probably going to end TikTok, guys, if... Uh, Cause my phone is probably dead now. It was ten percent last time I checked. But thank you for letting me know. Cause I can't see it. Uh, if you got a question, Tyler, send it. I right, got Red Angels two one. I uh, have a contact here at twenty one thousand. I'm seeing. Ooh. I'm really trying to multitask. This is hard. <laughs> so what we believe, we think there's a contact as well on the deck, like low. That one I have not picked up because my elevation is set to high. Yep, F4 has gone down. He's F4. I mean, F4. F-14 has gone to attack something. He's hunting. All right, guys, I'm going to spread out. Got speed. Uh, Tyler Rocks, what graphics cards did you get for Flight Sim? Um, personally, I recommend nothing lower than a 30 series card. All right, what is this? Is this a bad guy? This is probably a bad guy. I'm shooting this guy. Oh, we got a triangle overhead. Oh, there's multiples. I, I'm locking this up for sure. Is it? Uh, I lost him. Oh, what is that? Is that friendly down or is that an enemy down? I think that's friendly because he's falling this way. Good shot. Good shot. What's up, No Sock? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, what are you representing, man? What flag is that? All right, we got to be careful, guys. We are beyond enemy lines now. Anything north of our position is enemy. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. How did my... Why did that happen? 
Why is it so dark? Okay, there we go. Good job, Dolly Splash MiG-21. Good job, man. Alright, I gotta stay alive now, because I know there's some more bad guys out here that I'm not spotting. I did see him. I'm thankful for that. I did see him. I just didn't shoot at him. <laughs> I should have shot at him. Keep an eye out for anything else showing up on the radar here. I got another contact, North Opposition. Uh, looks to be Angels 2-5 for 50. Uh, sorry, Angels, yeah, 2-5. Uh, 73, that's a Sam, SA-10 off my nose, I'm gonna flip around here, oh, and we're getting shot at. They don't, they don't want us here. He just lost a second one at us. We're evading. Come on, fight it, fight it. Bro, how is it still tracking me? Turning away. Woo! <sighs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's probably the same freaking one. Around this mountain, we should be safe. There we go. Yeah, it was an SA-10. Uh, go to a heading of uh, 216, copy that. Anything else pop up on the radar here as we go back? Vertical. Coming out of burner. Fuel state is 20,000 pounds. SA6 pilots call it three fingers of death. Wow, really? Alright, uh, F4, do you still want that 216 heading? And we up here. We got back up here fast. Alright, we see anything? I'm getting ping, but 18. Buddy spiking us a little bit. E2 out to the east. Uh, you said to go to heading 216 earlier, earlier, Phantom. I was wondering if you still wanted that. Right now we're just heading a rough north. I don't see anything, but I think my radar may not be, might not be looking the right way. There we go. Copy that. It seems like they were off to the west, those Sams, so we'll see if we can stay on the east side of the peninsula here. I'm not sure where our friendlies are. I think that our friendly F-18 is still behind us, and I don't... Oh, that's an F-18 locking us up. Is that a buddy spike? That is a buddy spike, because uh, I think... F-18 should be on our team. I got a few triangles popping up here on the radar. I think they're at a different elevation, though. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. F-18 spike. I'm like, is that friendly or nah? My IFF is off? How do I turn it on? I thought in the F-15, IFF is automatically on. They have an imp... They haven't fully implemented it yet, right? That's what I thought. I don't know where I would turn that on. 
Want radar on high or in the... Oh. There we go. Alright, that's a Sam. Yeah, we are in it now. We are... We are fully behind enemy lines now. Okay, I got something. Uh-oh, hold on. We got something inside 40. Two, two contacts inside 40. Triangles in hot. I don't know what altitude they are. Yep, that's a baddie. Yep, that's a baddie. 14,000 feet. Well, oh, and that is another Sam. Right off our nose. Dang it, I was about to lock up his friend. Oh, Dolly had to eject. What shot at you, Sam? I don't know where it is. Is that it? No, nope, that's a ship. Bro, how are you still locking me up? Hit you with guns? They're that close they gunned you? There's a, like two SA-10s shooting at us right now. You still with me, Phantom? You good back there? You didn't black out? Bike north, copy. This is new. I've never like <laughs> done a two-seater plane with one guy communicating to me through the chat. <laughs> like I get everything delayed. All right, we gotta defend ourselves, man. We gotta shoot at something. There's people here. So if you spot something, call it out. We gotta we gotta start fighting back. I got something off my nose, 20, like 10 miles. Not sure how I'm even picking it up, to be honest, at this altitude. All right, we had contacts to our north. We're gonna re, uh, Re-engage here and see if we can spot anything before we get shot at by these. Sam these Sams are really killing us. Like we need, we need seed in this area. I I got something off my nose here, about thirty miles. Oh, close. What's that? Ten thousand. That's that's an enemy. That is an enemy. That is a freaking enemy. We gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. Paint it up. Paint it up. I right, am going for it. All right. Three, two, hold on. Hold on. Box three. Back in hot, Fox 3. All 
Uh, he's evading. Uh, actually, no, he's coming at me still. I really hope that's a, I, ho I really hope that's not a friendly. <laughs> Maintaining lock. Uh, Phantom, keep an eye out. There's another one around, like, out there. He's not the only. Uh, he's really he's diving. Did he get r away from it? No freaking way he got away. He got away from it. He's flaring. Alright, I'm switching. Bye, winders. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. That's a freaking SU-25. He's not going to shoot back. <laughs> How do we miss that guy? Alright, keep an eye on our six, because I don't think we're done. Where the heck did he go? I think it might be him right here. Yep, right there. Is that him? Is that our guy? Bro, they are down here too. I think he's right in front of me. There's something right at one. There's a plane 100 feet above the ground. Where is he? Where the heck is he? Point him out. Oh, what? I got shot. We're going down. Eject, eject. I can't eject, I think I'm dead. <laughs> oh. got us they finally got us hey we, we we went much longer than i expected uh, we almost got a kill i don't know how he evaded our fox 3 but um yeah ripped me in f4 you watched him for two minutes <laughs> uh you eject by hitting left control and then spamming e that's how you eject well guys that was fun thank you f4 phantom I, i'll you are welcome to fly in my back seat anytime oh what happened to my camera Like, I died so much that my camera actually died, too. Uh, actually, no, it's not dead. Um, but, yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Phantom, for flying along. Thank you, Dolly, for uh, flying with us as well. Uh, whoever was in the F-14, shout out to you as well. I'm not sure if you survived or died. I don't know what happened to you. But um, this was a fun stream, guys. This was a lot of fun. I uh, would love to do this more often. Or, again, uh, we could do another one of these next week, probably flying the F-16. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to stream next week. I'm pretty sure my phone is dead. Yep, it's dead. Uh, if you were watching on TikTok or came in from TikTok, thank you guys so much for coming through and hanging out with us. And um, hopefully you enjoy the channel as well. Oh, he got a he got one off the rail. Let's see what it is. That's not him. Is that him? It was one of these. But um, for good stuff. Uh, yeah, if you have any photos, drop them on Discord. We'd love to check them out. Love to see them. If you have any questions. Uh, you can always DM me on Discord um, or Instagram or TikTok. I can't promise I'll answer. Sometimes I miss things, and I do apologize for that. Um, but I do appreciate Man, this dude, is a, he's got to get away from something. But uh, come in the chat real quick, guys. Hop in the chat. Let me know where you're watching it from. I'll give you guys some shout-outs before we head out thank you f4 phantom thank you indy navy this is the next level racing um boeing chair uh, is it comfortable yes i will tell you one thing again i do love it i i still sorry i still recommend it um but the only thing oh splash good job bro the only thing i will say is that this seat you see 
I'm actually sitting on like a blanket because I, I, I actually like I sit in this chair so much that there's a butt imprint in it now. And so it kind of slouches to one side just a little bit, just like by like a, a few centimeters. And so uh, that's my only gripe about it. But I mean, I can get the cushion replaced or get it restuffed or something. So over time, that'll probably happen to you as well. But other than that, I love the chair. Um, it's definitely a task to put it together. It's heavy duty. Um, I have a review on it. So if you want to know more of my organized thoughts on it, there's a review on my YouTube channel uh, for the chair as well as the Flight Simulator Pro Chair, which I actually have sitting over over there. My racing stuff is on it right now. <laughs> but um, I'm planning on getting a second monitor, uh, a screen, and have it as a separate racing setup over there. That's the plan. But um, yeah, Indy, check it out, man. Uh, any more questions before I bounce? He has Winchester, he has no more missiles. He has no more missiles. Woohoo! And also, I have shout again, big shout out to Pimax um, for sending me that VR headset. I cannot wait to get it set up and try it out. Hopefully, uh, it's not too difficult to set up because um, I love doing VR gaming, flying in VR, racing in VR. It's so much fun. But guys, I am gonna get out of here. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Phantom Forever. Thank you, Indy Navy. Uh, who else do we have here in the chat with us? Thank you, Yusuf. Thank you, Leo. I will be sure to contact my F-15 trainer for some further help and instruction. <laughs> Thank you, Broad Award, for the follow. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Blue Team. Thank you, JT Miller. Thank you, Tattooed Bacon. Thank you, Jay Knows the Way. Thank you, Adali. Thank you, Mad Dollars. Thank you, Gaming with the Boys. Thank you, Nathaniel Jack. Appreciate you so much. Thank you, Bon Kizzle. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate that. Audrey, again, appreciate you so much. Random video editor, thank you, man, for helping me out on the TikTok, TikTok side. Mikey D, thank you. Tyler Rocks, thank you. Uh, when will I be back? To be honest with you, I hate to say this, but I, I don't know. Next week, uh, usually I stream on a Fridays around this time, um, Thursdays around this time, and possibly Monday or Wednesday. So stay tuned. I, I don't have a set schedule right now, sadly. I want to get on one, but I don't have one. So just stay tuned for videos and streams. Guys, you guys are amazing. You guys have an amazing day. You have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys in the next one, next time, next video. I am all the way out. Sheesh. That was fun.